Jesus! Assume the crash position. Hold on tight. Take a deep breath for a cartoon cramaganza. Take you inside and turn the pages. Here are your hosts, Henry and June. Hey, hey, Kablummixes. Thanks for billing up to another thigh jiggling episode of Kablam! Like a vault, Henry. That opening dance sucked the kishkis right out of me. You're telling me, June. I'm ka-pooped. What's that? Just a memo. Something about the producers making us take a physical fitness test. Take a what? If you fail to pass the Kablam physical fitness test, you will be retired as hosts of the show? There's no way we can pass. Look at us. We're extra wide loads. Wait. I know someone who can help us. He'll whip our bloated bottoms into shape. All right. Let's go for it. Uh, how about you turn the page? I got the last one. Please, you're closer. What are you talking about? Come on, I'm tired. I opened the memo. <sighs> Dateline, Action League Testing Center. To renew their action hero licenses, our heroes face an excruciating, exhausting exam. The first grade equivalency test. Time's up. Hand in your answer sheets. Moments later... Thunder Girl, pass. Chief, pass. Stinky Diver, pass. Meltman, pass. Justice, pass. <laughs> I guess that's it. No, wait. The Flesh, fail. Hooray for me! Sorry, Flesh, but I have no choice but to ask you for your badge. Why? Did you lose yours? No, you bonehead! Don't you get it? You're out of the Action League! Huh? Well... <laughs> Action League, now. Today's episode, The Naked and the Dumb. We find our heroes at Action Headquarters trying to solve the mystery behind Flesh's failure. Blimey, the moron marked his answers in the shape of a cat! I did not! I knew he couldn't be that stupid. I made a little kitten! Oy. I'm sorry, Flesh. I don't like it any more than you do, but rules are rules. You'll have to leave now, big fella. Oh, jeez. Wait, Chief. We need the Flesh. None of us has super strength. Oh, yeah? Watch and be amazed. Uh, are you amazed yet? Bill, there must be some way the Flesh can stay in the league. There's nothing I can do. Unless, of course, he retakes the test and passes it. And there is nothing you can do. Wait, we can help him study. Let's do it. Good idea. <laughs> and so the Action League tutors a disrobed dingbat. Two, three, four birdies. Now how many birdies are left if you take away one? Let's see. Ow! Eleventy-five? Close enough. I think our work here is done. Now you draw a triangle, Flesh. Funsies! Now, let's see. Should I put the ruler here? Ow! Oh, just anywhere's fine. See? Stinky, now write your name. Okie dokie. Or... Oh! After a week of intensive care, er, study, 
the league finally gives the flesh what he needs to pass his exam. Woo! I'm all over this test. Looks like the test is all over you, cheat notes flesh. Blast it, Bill! It's a big dope's only chance of passing. Sorry, league regulations. No cheat notes. But I used them. Uh, didn't. Don't worry. You guys learned me real good. Ah! Begin. Will the flesh best the test and make the grade? First grade? Or was all his schooling for squat? Find out in the action tutored conclusion of Action League. Boy, that flesh is cut like a deli tray. He'd pass the Kablam physical fitness test no problemo. So where's that friend of yours who's going to get us into shape anyway? Henry! Oh, Henry! Your aerobicizing angel has arrived, baby! Richard! Thanks for coming so quickly. Henry, I didn't know you knew Richard Simmons. <sighs> yeah, we met at the Circus of the Stars. Yeah! I've arrived just in the nick of time! You sure did. June and I are gonna get canned if we don't pass this dumb fitness test. Don't fret, cutie! I've assisted millions of people shed over 10,000 combined tons. I've even helped a big fat whale! Richard? Named Shamu? Well, don't just sit there. Get off those tushies! It's time to sweat off those pounds! Come on! Exercise is your friend! Exercise is fun! Woohoo! Let's aerobicize! Yeah! Exercise is fun! That's the spirit, sisters! Say no to Flab! Come on, kids! Get up off your butts! Turn off your TVs and exercise! Richard, no! no. What you are about to see is top secret. It is a videotape recorded 900,000 years ago by an alien using a remote-controlled camera. It shows his attempts to educate a caveman. They have been codenamed the Prometheus and Bob Tapes. Tape 404, softball. to come, Life with Loopy, Emmett Freedy. And when we return, more Action League now, right here on Kablam! Action League now, the 
flesh a flunk out. The league flung about. Will the naked one pass? There's doubt. Eggs are done. A lot of doubt. But as they await the results, the loyal league never loses hope. I get dibs on his desk. I get his parking place. I get his thigh master. Unbelievable. In all my years of science. What is it, Bill? He got every answer right. All right! All right. Go. Go. So, Flesh, I guess we did teach you something. You sure did. The kitten I drawled was bad. So this time, I made a little doggy. Ruff, ruff. The <laughs> end. Ow. I wish we didn't have to take that Kablam physical fitness test. Oh, my aching muscles. Henry, pass the mentholated balm. Up, up, up. Time for some aerobics. Richard, we already did aerobics. Not with ankle weight. We're too sore to work out right now. Besides, before we exercise, we need a nutrition break. Good idea. Nutrition is an important part of any health regimen. Henry, June, stop it. Stop it right now. Do you know what you're doing to your body? All that junk food is worse than this bucket of greasy, disgusting bacon fat. A smart diet is a balanced diet. That means plenty of whole grains, fresh fruits and veggies, and lean... Mmm, bacon, bacon fat. fat. My goodness! Stop that! You're eating my crop! Hi, Larry here. Everybody knows the world's running low on oil and coal and stuff like that, right? Well, last week our science class project was to invent an alternative way of making energy. Now, normally, science isn't my strong suit, but I gotta tell you, this project had got me totally inspired. What's up, Battery Boy? Hey, what are you doing with my hamster? Solving the world's energy crisis. Edison here is a vital part of my alternative power generator. Well, you won't power a peanut unless Edison moves his furry paws a little faster. Hmm, maybe he needs a nutritious breakfast to pep him up. Here you go, Edison. Try some iron-fortified, vitamin-enriched, sugar-frosted fruity flakes. There you are. Just the people I wanted to see. Here, grab these. You can give me a hand fertilizing the rutabagas. Well, by the time we were done revitalizing Dad's vegetable patch, it was getting pretty late. Solving the energy crisis could wait until the next day. Or so I thought. My rutabagas are ruined! And my generator's totally trashed! Hey, wh where's Edison? I don't know, bro, but here's a pretty big clue. That power breakfast must have been more potent than I thought. Take a look at this. I think it was the dessert that made the difference. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. A giant hamster has wreaked havoc in the downtown area this morning and is said to be heading for the county fairground. The public is advised to remain in their homes. Halt! And where do you kids think you're going? Let us through. I've got to find my hamster. No need to worry, little lady. Situation's under control. Yes, sir -y. We're gonna blow that mangy furball to smithereens! Edison, no! Hey, that's my science project, pal. Ah! So there you are. Come on, Edison. Move those big, hairy hamster cheeks. The army's gonna be here any second. Target within range. Lieutenant, order all squadron leaders to stand by for initial strike. Ah, I love the smell of popcorn in the morning. There you go. That's it. Follow the popcorn. Hey, wait! Where are you going, you big lummox? Oh, no, they're here. Get out of there, Edison. This is no time to play. Wait! Light bulb. 
If I can just reverse the flow on this generator... Squadron leaders, on my orders. Ready, take aim, and... General, wait, stop, look! See, General, Edison's not a menace. He's the biggest, furriest source of electricity this side of the Hoover Dam. Well, I'll be hornswoggled. Just wait till the boys at the energy department hear about this. So now, thanks to Edison, our entire town's being powered by a totally alternative new energy source. Hamster power. As long as Loopy remembers to feed him his popcorn, that is. Kablam! 37? 38? 39? Woohoo! Hi, we're back and ready to whoop that fitness test. You sure are, June. Come on, Henry. Feel the burn. That's it. Believe yourself. 7? 48? You two should be ashamed of yourself. I took time off my busy schedule to help you out. And you! What kind of example are you setting for the children? Hey! My goodness! What foot speed! You mean anyone else at the Circus of the Stars? Well, may as well watch the world premiere of Emmett Freedy and come back for the grand finale for me and Henry. Oh, puffy dinks, eat em up nice. Oh, puffy dinks, a fat puff lace. It's puffy do dink delicious Yo, yo. Cereal songs. That's so immature, Emmett. Glad you liked it, sis. <laughs> I found a full-scale nose with vibrating cilia and green mucus. That is a project. What project? A science project that's due today. Oh, no. I totally forgot. Ouch. Instant F. Sorry, Emmett. No way, Peel. I just need a good excuse. Know anybody that died? Next! Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, got one! Got one? Lice! Lice? No, that's a puffy thing. He is a puffy little thing. We'll send him to the lab. And Mr. Lice Maker here, straight home. Wait a second. I'm trying to tell you, that's a puffy thing. Home? Did you say home? Darn tootin'. Cover your heads, children. Lice boy coming through. How's he do that? I don't know. In the West, the Royals can clean everything I burn. This'll make you feel better, sweetie. My special liver and broccoli nachos. I'm not sick, Aunt Marie. They just thought I might have lice. Well, I need to eat, too. Mm, I feel better already. Can you keep a secret, Mr. Carpathios? Like the bank vault. I don't really have lice. No? Then what you got? The big tapeworm? Nothing. They found a stray puffy dink on my head. Thought it was lice and uh, sent me homeward bound. What could I do? I'm for sure that you did all that you could do, huh? That's right, Mr. Carpathios. I did all I could. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you pulled the wool over the faces. <laughs> now I got the whole day to relax and work on my science project. Inevitable. Reed Van Duken reporting live from the apartment building of Emmett Freedy. The more responsible for the current lice plague that threatens Akron. What the? Oh, there's that handsome Reed Van Duken. Export him to France! Lice gaps, get the lice gaps, two for ten bucks in your pocket. Let's put him in the rocket ship and, and light the fuse.
This is starting to weird me out, Emmett. Oh, I'll put a quick stop to this, Mr. Carpathios. I don't have lice! It was a puppy thing! Go home! What did he say? He said, I love lice, and you all stink. Trombone! Trombone? Who's he calling trombone? Better check this out, bro. Our first step is to pacify the lice breeding area. In layman's terms, it's time to shave Emmett's head. There goes an American hero. Pio! Emmett! I saw you on TV! You look fat! Stay away from my head, dudes, Emmett! You hear me? You hear me? No! Wait! Mr. Lombardi, please listen! I don't have lies! Won't somebody believe me? Hey, that's the guy, lies guy! Emmett! Can we talk to you before you're bald? Emmett, your friends came by to see how you were feeling. Run, Emmett. It's the setup. Stop. Don't go. We got no quarrel with you, Emmett. This is between us and those lice. Oh, you want lice? Here's for lice. Hey, this isn't lice. It sure doesn't taste like lice. It tastes more like the puffy dinks. That's what I've been trying to tell you guys. Oh, puffy dinks. Eat, Eat them up nice. Oh, puffy, puffy dinks. dinks. A fat puff, puff rice. rice. It's, it's puffy doo doo dang oh, delicious. Yo, yo. Has the whole planet gone completely immature? A breakfast bonnet protects the face and head area from RF. BD, random flying breakfast debris. Allow me to demonstrate. Peel, toss the bacon. Huh? The bacon, toss it. Oh, yeah. Ow, my eye. Another breakfast disaster successfully thwarted. Thank you. Music, Peel. Emmett, that was a wonderful science project. How's he do that? Well, Kablamsters, we'll be taking our physical fitness tests any minute now. In other words, get a good look at us, because it's all over but the flunkin'. Henry, I know I might not always show it, but I'm going to miss working with you. <laughs> me too, June. Give me a hug. <sighs> I wonder when that test is going to happen. Yeah. Where's the guy with the stopwatch and the whistle and the stationary bike? Henry, check it out! Kablam Physical Fitness Certificates! For successfully demonstrating the ability to withstand cartoon punishment. That's our fitness test? It's so easy! I know! And, 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 that's it, Footy. All that hair is just hiding a beautiful body inside. And, 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 here we go. We'll be back for more cartoon punishment next time. Right Uncle Brown. Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network!
Worlds Collide. Now to take you inside and turn the pages, here are your hosts, Henry and June. Buenos nachos, cabla amigos, and welcome to another... Ow! Ow, 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 ow. Mmm, that looks bad. When was the last time you had a tetanus booster? I don't... Ow! What is that? Looks like a number 11 fastening bolt. Used to hold up a number 11... Ah! Spotlight. That's it. I'm calling the network. I demand some <laughs> answers. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Hello? Uh, uh, hold on. Fred Stockdale speaking. Do you see what's going on here? I'm getting killed. And you're killing me. <laughs> Funny is money. I don't believe it. He hung up on me. Uh, Henry, on second thought, that bolt actually holds up. Well, I've got news for him. A whole bank of lights. Er, uh, while I fix Henry's head, why don't you get your fix of action right now? Dateline. The moonlit waters of Big Kitchen Lake, where the chief tries out a dateline of his own. Come here, baby, and give me a smoochie! But Snookums, shouldn't we be getting back to shore? Don't worry, sweet little pudding pot. We're in the love boat. Well, I'm getting love boat sick. It's <laughs> just a little free. Here, let me comfort you. Whoa! And the unnatural cause of this natural disaster? Haha! <laughs> With my new wind machine, I'm gonna blow the Action League away! Literally! Action League, now! Today's episode, Winds of Evil. We find our heroes at Action HQ discussing a matter of vital importance. Sorry we missed your party last night, Stinky. Yeah, I hope you didn't go to a lot of trouble. Oh, no, not at all. Huh, guess everyone's a bit late. We wanted to come, but, uh... uh... I had to wash my hair. Uh, I had to wash my socks. I thought we didn't go because this house is a toilet and smells like you know what. <laughs> Would you look at the time? So me flat smells like you know what, eh? Just for that, I'm never inviting any of yous into my home again. Fine. Good. What a relief. Chief, what happened to you? I got my fanny waxed by another freak windstorm. If we don't do something, millions could die. Left eye analysis. There's nothing we can do. Oh, well. Guess that's it for today. Later that night. Hey, roomies, where you going? Mandy Patinkin's on Leno. Ah! Looks like one action moron just found out which way the wind is blowing. <laughs> Don't worry, Melty. You'll be safe here. You're a real pal, Flesh. Nighty night. It's like the storm's following us wherever we go. My house blowed away. Relax. This house was built to last. Until today. Ah! It's a miracle. We're OK. Ah! With nowhere else to turn, our houseless heroes arrive at number two, Lavatory Lane. Stinky! What do you want? The hurricane destroyed all of our houses. Let us in. But I thought my home smelled like you know what. It does, but we're desperate. You had your chance. Oh, no. It's starting again. Hey, action lunkheads. Say hello to your biggest fan. The, the mayor. mayor. You were expecting Al Roker? But enough about me.
Will the league be blown to bits? Will Stinky stay selfishly sealed? Find out in the action huffed conclusion of Action League now. Auga! Now that's what I call hey, calamity. Hey, ho, ho, workplace hazards got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho, workplace hazards got to go. What gives, Bucko? You saw what happened, June, with the lights and the conking and the lights. Aren't you overreacting just a smidge? No, I'm not overreacting. It's not just me, June. Why do you think the whole crew is standing behind me? I told you it was going to be the number four. Oh, lucky guess. <laughs> Come on, Hanster. You've got to admit, it is kind of funny. And if it makes the people laugh, then... Yeah! You were saying? Hey, hey, ho, ho. Workplace hazards got to go. While we take it to the man, why don't you take it to Prometheus and Bob? What you are about to see is top secret. It is a videotape recorded 900,000 years ago by an alien using a remote-controlled camera. It shows his attempts to educate a caveman. They have been codenamed the Prometheus and Bob Tapes. Tape 400. IQ test. Still to come, Life with Loopy, Fuzzball, and when we return, more Action League Now, right here on Kablam! Action League Now, the league blown away, Stinky's throne still okay. As time runs out, have the League's chances for survival gone down the tubes? Help! Please save us! Will you promise to come stay for a weekend at me beach house? Yes! yes! Okie dokie! Hurry! Welcome to 
Dumper's no damper to me. Okay, no more Mr. Nice Mayor. Your John is gone. Full power. Uh oh, here's trouble. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. All clear. We made it. Thanks, Stinky. No problem. You blokes are gonna love me, Beach House. That weekend... The smell! Can't breathe! Air, please! Hey, what are you guys doing up here? We're serving dinner downstairs! Help! The end. Boy, that action league sure was... I skip it. June and I are about to give the boss man the what for about Kablam's unsafe working conditions. Now remember, he's a real slickster. We've got to stay on our toes. Check. Mr. Stockdale? Who? Oh, yes. What can I do you for? Studio tour? Free hats? No, Mr. Stockdale, we're Henry and June, and we demand to know what you plan on doing about... Oh, yes, I think we can settle this right now with this nice new roll of dimes. Ha! Get real, bub. Shiny. Henry! Dimes. You can forget your blood money, mister. We're walking. Um, sir, we're still on the air. Oh, I see. Go, Freddy. Go, Freddy. Yeah, Freddy. Go, Freddy. Ooh, kicking, kicking, kicking that Freddy Freddy. Yeah. Hi, Larry here. You know, I'm the kind of guy who avoids a fight whenever possible. Run now, party later. That's my motto. But with Loopy around, sometimes it just isn't that simple. Take last summer. <laughs> hey, what the? Got a problem, String Bean? Uh, no. Uh... Hey, Bozo, don't you talk to my brother like that. He could beat the pants off of you. Uh, listen, that's not exactly... Oh, you could, could you? Okay, tough guy, let's put it to the test. Hey, TJ, come on, dude. We're gonna be late for kickboxing class. Listen, I'll meet you back here one week from today. I will see who beats the pants off of who. Loopy, what have you done? I'm too young to die. Don't soil your shorts, Samson. It's all under control. Look, Sven Strongguard's Body Basics. Muscles of steel in only five days. Beat the pants off that bully or your money back. Well, what could I do? Seemed like Sven was my only chance. Loopy called the 800 number, and the very next day I was on my way to He-Man Heaven in the comfort of my own home. Ben's course turned out to be everything that had promised. And by day five, my pecs were pumped, my biceps were bulging, and my abs were slabs. I'm a mean preteen muscle machine. And I owe it all to Sven Strongguard. Now, being a hard body wasn't just a hobby. It was a whole new lifestyle. And that's something not everyone could relate to. Uh, son, you've been in there for three hours now. The rest of us need a little private time, too, you know. Boy, I'm starving. What's for dinner, Mom? Well, let me see now. I guess we'll be ordering in again. Uh, excuse me, son. Mind if I switch to the gardening channel? Tell you what, Pops. I'll wrestle you for the remote. Oh, well, now, I'm not so sure about that. Ah! Uh-oh, I've turned Larry into a macho monster, and there's only one person who can set him straight. Hello? 
Mr. Strongguard? Larry, I think it's for you. Hey, who's the midget? Sven Strongguard. Sven, Sven Strongguard. Strongguard? But, but, but... You don't look anything like your picture. <laughs> My dear, that comic book is 20 years old. The building of the body is no longer of interest to Sven. For as it is written in my new book, the Zen of Sven, the most important muscle in the body, is the brain. But, but, but... Come, Larry, you have much to learn from Sven's teachings. But we must start by losing these ridiculous bulges. They are clearly impairing your thought processes. Well, the Zen of Sven proved to be quite an eye-opener. And the very next day I was back at the beach and ready to face the music. Okay, Wimpoid, time to put up or shut up. Very well, my friend. In the words of Sven Strongar, though the mighty Nordic moose is 10,000 times stronger than the clever Arctic ant, it takes but one ant to make that moose itch. Are you calling me a moose? So I guess Sven's words of wisdom don't work for everyone. But it didn't really matter. Ow! Cause Loopy had figured out an even better use for him. Come on, bro. Let's go home. Kablam! Now that we've walked off the show, we've got those slave drivers right where we want them. No doubt. Everyone knows there's no show without us. Hey, Kablammers. I'm Herbie. And I'm Jane. We're toast. Don't worry, June. Just wait till they get hit on the head with a light. Ouch. That hurt, Jane. Really? No. Ha 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 there's something very strange about this. Well, we are having a lot of fun, Jane. But now it is time for another cartoon. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, that Ray hit him in the head. <laughs> Henry, he's a robot. They're both robots. We've been replaced by machines. Whoa, looks like it's time for plan B. You mean... Yep. We hightail it back to the studio and beg for our jobs. This is my town, West Valley, PA. And this is the highlight of the West Valley social season, the annual feast of St. Stanislaus Fair. Every year, Burton Hanks goes on the zipper after eating 12 funnel cakes and proves that you don't buy fried dough, you rent it. Every year, my bud Cake and me stand under the salt and pepper shaker and rake in the pocket dumpage. And every year, another rusty old ride finally gives out. But this year, I'm missing it all, because I don't have a ride. They call me Fuzzball, and I'm stuck here like a dingleberry, because my dad said he'd drive me and then remembered it's his stupid bowling night. Whoa, 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 Fuzzball! Your father works hard to put a little kielbasa on the table. He deserves a little R&R &R once in a while. Unbelievable. I'm getting lectured by a figment of my own imagination that is so TVY. And another thing. What's with those clothes? Are you trying to look like a boy? It's called style? Yeah, if you're a boy. That's it. <laughs> You are in so much trouble. Come on, Fuzz. I think you're overreacting. No, I'm serious, Cake. If I don't figure out how to fix this thing before my dad gets home, I'm hot buttered history. Wait, I got a better idea. I could change my name, get plastic surgery, and move to Philly. Or you could just go to that bowling trophy store. Dude, wrap it to go. On second thought, I'll eat it here. Who knew those things were so expensive? And by the way, Flapjack, I'm not a boy. It's a fashion statement. Why do people keep saying that? They must be jealous. Here's a radical idea. 
tell your dad the truth. Come on, Cake. Give me something I can use. How about that? When the going gets tough, the tough go bowling. So, uh, how many of those sticks do I have to knock over to get the trophy? 300. That's it? Rapid to go. <laughs> Sorry. Must have been, uh, the wind. Hey, it's called a practice throw. Another practice throw. Attention, bowlers. In case there is any confusion, the pins are the white uh, pins located at the far end of the lane. Thank you. Uh, Buzz? Is this one for real? I'm all out of eraser. Maybe I should just tell my dad the truth. I'm sure he'd understand. Or maybe not. Attention, lane 12. What do I have to do to get you to leave? Well, that was easy. I bet that guy would have given us his car to get us out of there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Fuzz, I still think you should tell your dad the truth about what happened. Why? Because he'd probably understand and think the whole thing was funny? No, because there's a lady on that trophy. How are you doing, fella? Ah, <sighs> looks like I'm going to eat it here. Oi, what a show it's been. One of our top is ever. Mr. Stockdale, we're sorry for walking off the set. Just give us our jobs back. Please forgive us. We'll never do it again. I'm sorry. Have we met? We're Henry and June, the hosts of Kablam. That's impossible. Herbie and Jane are the hosts. Look at them. They're perfect. Robots never complain or ask for food or drink or even breath mints. It's go, go, go. They're completely unstoppable. Oh, no. It's over. But now who's going to host the show? Ahem. We could step in. You? Have you ever been on television before? Oh, no matter. Just go out there and give it all you've got. That's all the time we have for tonight, Kablam Droids. Be sure to join us next time right here on Ka- Well, unsafe at any speed, just the way you like it. Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam Network! Big up the masses! Assume the crash position. Hold on tight! Take a deep breath for a cartoon cramaganza! It's Kablam! Where cartoons and comics collide! Now to take you inside and turn the pages, here are your hosts, Henry and June! Kablamatrons, I'm Henry. And I'm... Whoa! Check this out! They redid the set!
Hot chocolate. Mmm. Boy, this is great. It's about time they spruced up this joint. Uh, Henry, are you getting a creepy feeling? Like we're being watched? Yeah. <laughs> What in Kablam's name? It must be part of the new set. You know, so our fans can watch the show being filmed. I get it. Like the Today Show. The window is a great idea. It'll make us a tourist attraction. It'll help us keep in touch with our fans. I don't know if we want to keep in touch with all our fans. Get a load of this nut job. Ooh. Cool. It even opens. Works on his people skills. Why don't you watch the league work on their action skills? Dateline, Kitty Pool Harbor, where an international smuggling ring is blown out of the water by our action blowhards. Freeze, your rotters! You're busted! Swing that contraband over this way, pronto! No problem. The coast is clear, Mr. Mayor. Good work, yeoman. Now let me inspect my precious treasure. Aye, aye, sir, Mayor, sir. Hello, my pretties. With you two as breeding stock, I'll corner the Easter chick market in no time. I'll be richer than Bill Cosby. <laughs> Action lead now. Today's episode, Chicky Chicky Bang Bang. With a sleazy smuggling ring on the loose, the league starts asking tough questions. Who wants some hoagie? I do. Let's eat! I'm starving! Yummies! Wait, stop the picnic. I just found out what those smugglers were, um, smuggling. A rare species of Easter chick. That's horrible, Bill. But we've got a hoagie to eat. Yay! You don't understand. These birds multiply at an alarming rate and have been known to eat anything. Is that bad? Meanwhile, at the mayoral mansion... Look at them all. I'll be able to pay off my student loans. They finished off all ten bags of bird seed, Mr. Mayor. Well, that should hold them for a while. Now come give me a hand with my Easter Chick website. I'm warning you, if we don't stop these chicks now, we'll have an ecological disaster on our hands. Ecological sneakological! Which part of we've got a hoagie to eat didn't you understand? Yay! Blimey! What's that? Not good. There goes lunch. Oh no, I was afraid of this. They're breeding out of control. And they're headed for the World Food Reserve. Blast it, Bill! Why can you warn us? Now let's move out! Moments later... Crikey! We're too late! I was afraid of this, too. Now that the World Food Reserve is gone, who knows what they'll eat next. Hello, friends. The mayor! Can I interest you in some cuddly Easter chicks? Ow! I mean, oh wow, they sure are cute and attractively priced. Act now! Yay! The mayor's toast! Boom! So are we! What's this? Is the Action League about to become Action Feed? Find out in the Action Tech conclusion of Action League Now. Hello again. As you can see, our set is newly designed, newly furnished, and now newly locked. June, how are things out there with our scary fans? I don't know what you're talking about. There may not be a lot of Henry fans out here, but there's plenty of folks giving it up for June. I'd like you to meet the June Jamboree from Juneau, Alaska. So, girls, love your get-ups. Did you make them yourselves? Who are you? Your costume stinks. You are so un-June. Excuse me. I am June. 
Yeah, right. Like she'd ever wear those shoes. Hi, I'm June. Look at me. I've got a fake mic and everything. Give me that. Hey, punk, I was using that, you know? Who do you think you are? Henry! And now here's Prometheus and Bob! She doesn't know when to quit. What you are about to see is top secret. It is a videotape recorded 900,000 years ago by an alien using a remote-controlled camera. It shows his attempts to educate a caveman. They have been codenamed the Prometheus and Bob Tape. Tape 412. Magnetism. to come life with loopy garbage boy and when we return more action league now right here on kablam action league now here a chick there a chick everywhere a chick chick is it lunchtime for our heroes all right Everybody back up slowly. No sudden moves or loud sounds. Meow! Quiet, you melted moron! Wait, do that again. I can't. Sure you can. Meow! Cut it out! Amazing. That sound is remarkably similar to their mating call. I have an idea. Meow! Keep hitting it! That's an order! No more! Please! Sorry, Melty. Meow! Hey, give me a crack! It's my turn! Meow! <laughs> Moments later... Good work, Meltman! Your whining led those chicks straight to the boat! Now they can go back to their natural habitat. You know, aside from all that pecking to death, they sure were cute. That's why I kept one. I mean, two, four, eight, eleven, five, nine. Hey! No! Help. He's the back. You bozo! The end. USA! 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 
in case you haven't noticed, this whole window thing isn't really working out. Go Blue Devil! But it looks like we're stuck with it. Unless... Henry, what are you doing? Mr. Foot is taking his yearly shower. Exactly. And man, you're a genius. Those hooligan tourists flew all the way here to stare at fog. <laughs> <laughs> to reveal the secrets of tomorrow. Just kidding, it's me, Larry. But heck, everybody wants to know what the future will bring, especially my sister, Loopy. Keep back, keep back, I tell you. What horrible fate awaits Space Captain Sam? Find out next week in the thrilling conclusion of Creature from Planet Zero. Next week? Afraid you're gonna have to, Loopy. You can't fast forward life, you know. <laughs> we'll see about that. Now, science tells us that time is an unalterable phenomenon. But Loopy never let a little thing like science get in her way. And by breakfast the next morning, she turned our $5 remote into the world's first universal time manipulator. Yeah, right. Well, manipulate this, Einstein. <laughs> Okay, I will. Here's your breakfast, Loopy. Your favorite, peanut butter pizza. Thanks, Mom. Mmm, yummy. Let's do that again. Two for the price of one. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got a thrilling conclusion to catch. Woohoo! Time sure flies when you're having fun. Out of my way, Slowpoke. The future is now. Uh-oh. What's the problem, officer? Don't play innocent with me, little missy. You've just broken every speed limit in the time-space continuum. You're coming with me, too. Time caught. The Honorable Father Time presiding. Well, Sergeant, what terrible time criminal have you brought before me today? The worst kind, Your Honor. The defendant stands charged with willful manipulation of the temporal flow. Young lady, do you understand the severity of these charges? Uh, is this going to take long? Uh, typical. Young people today have no appreciation of time. Why, when I was your age, I watched paint dry and grass grow, and I loved every minute of it. Hey, Gramps, can you speed it up a bit? I got a TV show to catch. Impudence. Time is an age-old institution, and I won't stand for snotty-nosed children messing around with it. By the power vested in me, I sentence you to an eternity in limbo! old fast stop her freeze mister time to rewind my behind out of this place phew right back where i started yeah right well manipulate this einstein no thanks 
Time travel is too much trouble. And so for now, the future remains unknown. But perhaps someday, someone will unlock its mysteries. Ah, there's the remote. I've been looking all over for that. Oh, 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 oh! Kablam! Welcome back to Kablam, where we've got a whole new attitude to go with our whole new set. That's right. Starting now, we're going to pretend those annoying people outside aren't even there. What people, June? You see, June and I are able to focus and block out distractions. Go ahead. Holler all you want. Nothing's going to break our concentration. Well said, June. That's because we're professionals. When you've been in the business as long as Henry and me, you learn a thing or two about coping. Amen, sister. Now that we've settled that little matter, how about a cartoon, hmm? Remember, June, focus. Now why don't you focus on the world premiere of Garbage Boy? Up to my elbows every day! And cool stuff that people throw away! I'm a garbage boy! I'm a garbage boy! A locker engine and old pool float! This will make a wicked guys. Hey, Danny. Cool pets. They new? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I guess he likes you. <sighs> Man, I wish I had a pet to play with. Oh, you can't have a pet, because all you got is garbage, garbage boy. <laughs> By all rights, you laugh when I make a joke. Fredo, eat! <gasps> no! Uh, put me down, Clyde! Quiet, garbage uh, boy. Don't you know it's not polite to talk while someone's eating? <laughs> you don't deserve to have a pet, you big lummox. Yeah, but I got one anyway, and you don't. <clears throat> now why don't you go home and play with your garbage, garbage boy? Show starring me, Cloud Pony. <laughs> Boy, I can't believe the stuff people throw away. Look what I found during the hospital trash run a heart defibrillator, and it still works. Clear. <gasps> oh. uh, we don't need it, dear. Maybe you should. Yeah, I know. Basement. Mom and Dad, I have a real important question to ask. I know what you're going to say, but just hear me out. I want a pet. All the other kids have them. I promise I'll take care of it and walk it and feed it and pick fleas off it. So can I have a pet, please? You, you know, know your, your mom's allergic. allergic. I mean, I'm, I mean allergic. I'm allergic. Sorry, Slugger. We got a full house here. We don't even have room for the things we need. Garbage boy, you can't have a pet, cause all you got is garbage. All you got is garbage. That's right, Clyde. I got garbage. Here, boy. Fetch! Roll over! Play alive! Esther wants to play, big boy. Come on, Esther. Beat it. I'm busy. Clown Pony wants to play. I'm Clown Pony! You can play with me in 2,000 different kinds of ways. You can play with me in the bathtub. You can play with me in the Okay, bushes. sis. You can, you can stay, but not to play. No. Meals. We're going to make garbage three, history. Three, you, me, and Clown Pony. <laughs> Stop it. You're tickling me. Clear! 
Whoa, kid, take it easy. You trying to fry my kishkas? It's alive! It's alive! Oh, no kidding, Professor Bright Boy. Alive and in person. Here, Jumpy. Here, boy. Let's play. Dig. I don't do sticks, kid. You want to play? I'll show you how to play. Aces. Deuces wild. Hey, you got an ace up your paw, buddy. I got a whole leg full of them. How many do you need? <laughs> Tyler, get a load of that. Garbage boy's playing with a doll. <laughs> Bug off, Clyde. I'm busy. I'm about to take my pet here for all he's worth. Ha! <laughs> you call that a pet? It's just a heap of junk. Junk? Well, you're not exactly Captain Goodlooks yourself. <laughs> In fact, you remind me of a trash compactor I used to date back at the city dump. Hope I'm not out of line. <laughs> By all rights, your dog will be dinner! Eat! Hey, Danny, I think it's time for me to shake a leg. Whoops! Hey! It was just a figure of speech! Good dog. Well, it's nothing really. You know, when you've been to the landfill and back like me, you've kind of seen it all. One time I was in Burma, see? And there was this large cockroach... Don't be behind you! Ah! mama! Oh, uh. Hey, Fredo! What's the big idea? Get me out of here! Why all right? I must be stomped up! Whoa! That was awesome! Can we play with Jumpy? Sure, you can help me put him back together. <laughs> Easy there, tough guy. Watch the merchandise. Hey, and how about doing me a favor and make me look more like that George Clooney, I mean, with the Caesar cut? You know, he's a good-looking fella. Well, our, quote, fans have finally left us alone, taking with them everything we own. Fortunately, we're still very focused. What a sock in it, Henroid. But really, folks, we couldn't be happier. Finally, we're all alone. That's right, June. Nobody's watching us. Nobody's watching us? Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network. Laminots, I'm June, and this is... Henry? Down here, June! <laughs> Look at this place! Where'd all this junk come from? I heard there was a travel show in the studio before us. This must be some of their stuff. Hey, what's this thing? Amazing! I'll say. Those drawings are really lousy. Those aren't drawings, Henry. They're actual slide photographs of the real world. I've heard stories about it, but I never dreamed it could actually exist. I want to see it for myself, Henroid. I want to get real. 
Why bother? The real world doesn't look that great. Bikes! Cool! I want to go too, June. How do we get to this real world place, huh? Huh, June? How? The entrance could be anywhere. It could be this very door. Uh, speaking of getting hit on the head with heavy objects, here's a brand new episode of Action League Now. Dateline Desktop Observatory, where a plastic poindexter introduces the League to the joys of stargazing. There's Andromeda and the Crab Nebula. Hey, what are you guys looking at? The stars, Flesh. Goody! I want to see Sandra Bullock's! Oh, ouchies! Arg. I don't know why I even bother. What's this? Oh, no. I was afraid of this. What is it, Bill? Sandra Bullock's boyfriend? No, it's a meteor, and it's headed straight towards Earth. Action League, now. Today's episode, Armageddon out of here. As a menacing meteor heads towards Earth, our heroes devise a daring strategy. I wish I could help, but wouldn't you know it? Beep, beep. My ride's here. Me too. Me five. Well, tough toenail. You Nimrods are all we've got. Bill, give him the skinny. You'll be sent on a rocket to intercept the meteor and knock it off course with these really big bombs. Bombs? Cool. I'm in. Yeah. Ditto. Blast it! The world is counting on you people! Now get on it! And so, with extinction imminent, the League begins their crash course in astronaut training. This G4 simulator will prepare you for the gravitational effects of takeoff. Yeah! I'm getting dizzy! Cutesies! Make it stop! Bye. At least the arugula is crisp. This pressure simulator will prepare you for the extreme conditions of deep space. It looks like a sledgehammer. Ow! It's a simulation of a sledgehammer. This launch simulator will... Let's just get it over with. Ah! Are we saving the world yet? Not yet, Flesh. But soon, for moments later at Cape Crabgrass, Three, two, one, blast off. We have ignition. The future of mankind is in their hands. We're all gonna die, aren't we, Bill? Yes. The engine's on the rocket. Go, broom, 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 broom. The engine's on the rocket. Go, broom, broom, broom. Look, it's the meteor. This is mission control. Prepare to arm and deploy bomb. Bombs? Oopsie! I knew we forgot something. You idiot! I asked you if you had everything! We thought you meant our toothbrushes. Oh well, guess we'll head back home now. In a pig's eye, you ninnies are gonna crash that spaceship into the meteor, and that's an order! Oops. Transmission problems. Can't hear you, Chief. I like the people of Earth as much as the next bloke, but get real. We're out of here! Yay! Uh-oh. Is this the end of the Action League? Wait a minute. Who cares about those bozos? I don't want to die. <clears throat> Stay tuned for the Action Annihilated conclusion of Action League now. Welcome back to the Henry and June Get Real Expedition. Where I figured out a brilliant plan to get us to the real world. Observe. <laughs> June, June, June. Surely there's a more civilized way to travel. Come on. Welcome to Get Out of Town Travel. Where would you like to go today? To the real world. You know, that place beyond the proverbial fourth wall? Yeah, the place with cool bikes and bad drawings. We can pay. Two tickets to the real world, coming up. Hey, where are the seatbelts on this thing? Do you think we'll get those honey roasted peanuts? Oh, 
nothing much. Sold a couple of chumps tickets to the real world. I know it's a myth, but they had money. Oh, hang on a sec. 900,000 years ago, an alien videotaped his attempts to educate a caveman, the Prometheus and Bob tapes. Tape one. Keep your hider in the recliner. Still to come, life with Loopy, the Shizuki. And when we return, more Action League now, right here on Kablam! Action League now. A planet doomed. A rocket kaboom. As a deadly showdown approaches, our ill-fated four reflect on the meaning of their lives. I never got to direct! I may have only been a chunk of melted plastic, but I tried! You blokes aren't such tossers after all. Gallers! I'm naked! Are we in heaven? No! We're on the meteor! We knocked it off course and saved the Earth! They're gonna give us the biggest parade when we get back. Back? To where? Uh -oh. Don't worry, Chief. According to my calculations, the meteor will return to the Earth's orbit in another 100,000 years. Do I look worried? The end. That episode of Action League Now certainly was whatever. Now, let's get back to what's really important. Henry and June, get real! Despite our recent setbacks, we're more determined than ever to find the real world. We just need a little elbow grease. Listen. Wow. 
Real world bees. I'll bet the honey tastes even sweeter in the real world. You. Hi, Larry here. Since the dawn of time, man has dreamed of conquering the skies. The history books are filled with great heroes. The Wright Brothers, Charles Lindbergh, Amelia Earhart, and now you can add one more name to that list. My sister, Loopy. Let me tell you what happened last week. Jumping jitterbugs, what was that? <laughs> Oh, hey, Loopy. How's it going, eh? Mike, what are you doing in Mom's chrysanthemum patch? I'm learning how to fly. All my pals are migrating back to Canada this weekend, and I'm going to be left behind again unless I get my wings and gear. But, Mike, you're a Canadian flightless duck. Oh, but Loopy, a duck who can't fly is like hockey without ice, like pancakes with no maple syrup, like a moose without... Okay, okay, don't get your feathers in a fluster. We'll get you up there somehow. You know what they say, where there's a wing, there's a way. <laughs> What a bummer, eh? Never gonna get my frequent flyer miles at this rate. Keep your beak up, Mike. We'll get a fresh start first thing in the morning, okay? Okay. Guess I'll see you in the a.m., eh? Morning, Loopy. Hey, you know, I've been thinking. Maybe we should just... Whoa! Check it out, Mike. Your very own flying machine. Uh, Loopy, are you sure this thing's safe? Safe as San Andreas. Come on, help me wheel it down to the airfield. Loopy, wait. I don't know if I can go through with this. I... Don't worry, Mike. All you gotta do is flap your wings and paddle like crazy. It'll be a breeze. No, I'm sorry. I just can't do this. Let's face it, Loopy. I I'll never be renowned for getting off the ground. Okay, if that's the way you want it, fine. Guess there's no point in me hanging around here anymore. See you later, Mike. Loopy, wait, look out! Whoa! Loopy, you're headed for the power lines! Whoa! Help me! Don't worry, I'm coming. I I'll save you! I've got you, Loopy. Hang on tight, eh? Mike, look! You're flying! Huh? What? Oh, nice going, eh? See, Mike, I knew you could do it. You just needed a little inspiration. Hey, look! Here come my buddies. Guess it's time for me to go, Loopy. Gotta fly, eh? Yes, my friends, the power to fly may be an awesome thing, but it doesn't mean diddly. Compared to the power of friendship. See you next year, Loopy! Send us a postcard, Mike! Kablam! Hi. We're back, and as you can see, still as cartoony as ever. I guess we'll never make it to the real world, June. But hey, you can't say we didn't give it our best shot. We've just got to face facts. It's impossible. I guess you're right, Henroid. Hey, what's this? Real world? Come on, June. Let's get real. It's incredible. Wow. We're badly drawn, too. Henry, look, bikes, just like we saw in the picture. Yee-haw! What do we do now? Beats me. Ah! Say, what is that? 
real world pain. Let's get out of here. <sighs> Cartoon. Right. Once upon a time in days of old, a species flourished, so I've been told, called the Shizigi. Shizza what? The Shizigi. But they were hunted down for their fluffy tail. They fought back bravely, but to no avail. That's the Shizigi. Shizza what? Shizigi. So the last one ran away to the South Pole, where he froze his hiney in the icy cold. He was locked in the ice for a century, till a kid named Brutus came to set him free. And that's the story of the very last Shizigi. Shizza what? Shizza gee. Shizza what? Shizza gee. Welcome to Claude Techie's Splendid Species. Who's this maniac? Hands off. It's my favorite nature show. All right, but if it stinks, I'm clicking. The Shizza gee is a beast that's been extinct for hundreds of years. Yeah, and I don't like it. But maybe the Shizagi isn't really so extinct after all. Say what? Everyone knows the Shizagi's favorite food is Caesar salad. Well, this crudon I found here in the Amazon jungle tells me there may still be one Shizagi left. High five! There's another Shizagi. I'm not extinct. Get packed, Brutus. We're going to the Amazon. Shiz, reality check. We can't just go to the Amazon. You're right. We've got to find your dad's frequent flyer miles first. Start tearing the house apart. I'm going to capture that Shiz again and put him in my splendid species zoo. Stay tuned. Can I please get my Shirley no. Temple? No. You're an Eric. You know that, right? Shiz, did I mention that I'm allergic to jaguars and boa constrictors? Quiet, boy! All your yammering will scare off the other shizigi. Did I forget to mention crocodiles? Oh, Brutus, come on! We don't have time for you to frolic about in the wildlife. Come on, Shiz, let's get real. The Amazon is over a million square miles. How do you expect to... Shh! I'm picking up a scent. Anchovy paste, garlic, and just a hint of lemon. It's Caesar dressing, and it's coming from over here. I never knew love like this before. Hello, my sweet, sweet Shizette. Where have you been all night? That's weird. She's a fake, Shiz! It's a trap! I don't need this! Isn't it bad enough that I'm extinct? There's the alarm telling me I've caught myself a real, live, extinct Shizugi. Let's go see. This is all your fault, Brutus McBrutus. My fault? It wasn't my bright idea to come here. No time for apologies. Just get me out before Clive Khaki gets here. Here, Shiz, rub this butter all over yourself. It'll make you slippery so you can slide through the bars. Okay, but this is not gonna help my cholesterol. <laughs> I'm in? Here I come, you little shizzy Save yourself, Shiz. Don't worry about me. When Clive sees I'm not a shizzy he'll let me go. I like the way you think. Look at that beautiful, uh, rare, short-snouted, and short-tailed extinct Shizuge. She's gorgeous. Um, excuse me? Listen, that sound she's making and that glazed expression on a Shizuge face means she's going to have a baby. Uh, you don't understand. You're okay, girl. You're all right. 
We're gonna take good care of you, my splendid species zoo, where you can have your babies in peace. Take her out of here, boys. This is really exciting. We've got a real live shizzle. Mm -hmm. Gee, that would be me. Um. All right, shiz. You know, we shizzigies weren't known only for our large snouts and fluffy tails. No? No. We were also famous for... <laughs> our blazing fastball. I have a really bad headache. Don't give up hope, Shiz. After all, Clyde did find those croutons. That could mean there is another Shizugi. I suppose. And you've been invited to spring training with the Yankees. Get serious, Steinbrenner? Well, you still have me. Yeah, but I'm still extinct, and I don't like it! I know, buddy. I know. Welcome, Lammers. It's been quite a show. You've been lucky enough to witness our death-defying journey to the real world. Here you go, fellow pioneer. I had these handsome medallions made up to commemorate the occasion. Thanks. So, how does it feel to be one of the first two cartoon characters in history to make it to the real world? You can read all about it in my harrowing personal account, Into Real Air. What's that? There you go, Footsky. The usual. Well, would you look at the time? We gotta be going, really. Please don't use that word. Oh, right. So long, Kablammers. We'll see you next time. Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network. Amigos, me amo Enrico y se amo Hoon. Whatever. What Henry is trying to say is welcome to another cartoon cram fest. Hey, isn't that sitcom supernova John Stamos from TV's Full House? Good eye, Henman. Hey, John, come on out here. John Stamos, everybody. Hey, what's with the rent a cop getup? Don't tell me. You're in Studio B filming a major motion picture about a hard-boiled security guard. With a heart of gold. Actually, I, I really am a security guard. I love these method actors. Always in character. Officer Stamos, do you copy? Stamos. We got a couple of trespassers in the vicinity of the donut table. Over. Copy. I'm on it. Stamos out. I don't get it. One day he's a huge TV star, the next day he's swinging a nightstick. You don't think that could ever happen to us, do you? Nah. Hey, hey, come back here. Those donuts are studio property. Oh, rabbit, tearing up the tree.
tracks. With his turbo rabbit racer and the super chip max. He's a burning rubber bunny with the need for speed. But he's always got time for anybody in need. Go, go, raise a rabbit with the turbo thrust. Cause those inbred foolies from the upper crust. Wanna catch you and stuff you, but they're way too slow. So go, raise a rabbit. Go, go, go. Welcome all to the Isle of Bruce for the All Island, All Open, All the Time Open, where all eyes are on French newcomer Brigitte Bounet. Trust me, folks, this will be a very heated matchup. Bonjour, Mademoiselle. Catch me if you can, Race Rally. Sassy. And they're off! She's enchanting. I'd like to see more of her. Then I suggest you get moving! Ready or not, here I come. I strongly urge you to keep your mind on the rally and off Miss Frenchie. Oh, Max, where could such an angel have come from? <laughs> Poor race rabbit. Thanks to our little bionic bunny, he's going to lose this rally. <laughs> and his pelt. <laughs> Careful with the steering. So what's the plan? First, I go like this. <laughs> then, in a mere five minutes, our explosive little friend here will make Race Rabbit's heart go boom, boom, shaboom! Pretty. I say it's destiny. You're not going to pick her up, are you? I'm going to give it a shot, Max. Excuse-moi, love. May I be of some assistance? Well, maybe not a total genius. Yes, so how you say, big and strong. I do work out a bit. Race! My sensors detect an evil electronic presence inside the car. Don't be so hard on yourself, Max. Now who's up for a picnic? Mon cher, je vous aime comme les rayons du matin. Chaud, rayon. He's talking funny. Uh. It's a French, you nit. Say something French back to him. Uh, French toast? Attention, race rabbit! The rally! Max. Show race. Now you're burning up the track. Well, Max, I am in a hurry. Race, you can't be serious. This will only take a minute. Nick, that 
20 seconds. Do you, Brigitte Bounet, take Race Rabbit forever and ever and ever? I do! And do you, Race, take Brigitte forever and ever and ever? Come on, Race! We don't have the time! Just say I do! But I'm afraid I don't. Where is the earth shattering kaboom? Oh, oh poo. Gabby McShout to what here and Cribbins, what a finish we have in store for you. But one still wonders where is Race Rabbit? When did you realize she was a robot? Was it my senses? Her terrible French? No, Max, it was the dropping she left on the seat. Double A's. Huh. I suppose I'll never find my true love. Chin up, Race. Never say never. Just say punch, punch it. it. Master H is what they call me. My fresh rhymes sting like a bumblebee. And that's the straight 411, G. Henry, refresh my memory. Why are we making complete buffoons out of ourselves? June, yo! If we don't want to end up working security, we've got to, you know, diversify. Yeah, but as rappers? Word. A lot of entertainers have revived their careers through hip-hop. Respected stars like Shaquille O'Neal and primetime Deion Sanders. What's that awful racket? My main man, Buster Rhymes. I invited him to drop by and give us a listen. Buster, sup, G? How you living, you know what I'm saying? Aight, so Henry, let's check some of that flavor you've been hyping. They call me Master H, because my skills is all the rage. My sound is more than profound. I taught Dennis Rodman how to rebound. Mm. That's really bad. You hear that, June? Busta thinks we're kicking the bad flavor. Uh, Enrico, don't think that's what he meant. Oh. Dateline, first aid kit, General Hospital, where the chief is discharged after a debilitating injury. All ready to go home, Chiefy? No thanks to any of you! Hey, you think you got hurt? You should see the wood chipper. Can it, Meltman? If I keep working with you clowns, I'm going to end up with a toe tag. Oh, come on, Chief. We made one blooming mistake. It'll never happen again. Already, Freddy. Let's go. Wait! I want to go inside the car. Inside! There's no room for your wheelchair. You'll be fine, Chief. No, you blockheads! Ah! Inside the car! Inside! Speed bump! Blast it! Get up! Well, at least we're near the hospital. Action League, now. Today's episode, Grief for the Chief. We find our heroes worriedly awaiting word of their squashed supervisor. Doc? Doc? Goose! I hope you're happy. The Chief's about to bite it. All we can do now is wait. Poor guy. He's the best cheapy weepy I ever had. I loved him like a distant cousin. He's always been there for us. Like the time I was so afraid of ceiling fans, I couldn't fly. Come on, Thunder Girl. You can do it. No, I don't want to get chopped up again. You've got to fly. Remember, a quitter never wins, and a winner never quits. You're right, Chief. <laughs> I'm flying! Thunder girl, flying like thunder. Thanks to the chief bee, the best chief around. Ow, 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 ow! I'm okay! That's a beautiful memory, Thunder girl. Remember how the chief saved our lives, Stinky? Do I ever! It was our darkest hour. Saturday night and no dates! 
Chief, it was right cricket of you to invite us to the fights. Yeah, you're more than a chief. You're a pal. Don't mention it. Remember, a friend in need is a friend indeed. The least we can do is buy you a bag of peanuts. Oh, no, that's okay. Gotta watch the sodium. I insist. One bag of peanuts right here, mate. Here you go, Frogman. <laughs> Those were special times. I have a special chief memory, too. He helped me find myself. Well, sure. He's done that for all of us. No, I mean really. Where am I? Help! Where am I? Flesh, you're right here. Remember, you can't see where you're going with a can on your head. Oh, hooray! I'm here! Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Justice? You have a story about the Chief, too? I love that son of a biscuit. He's gotta pull through. The Chief's taken a turn for the worse. I'm afraid it's only a matter of time now. Can it be? Is the League about to lose its beloved leader? Stay tuned for the action weaving conclusion of Action League now. Hey, Kablamoids, keep your hiner in the recliner. Still to come, life with Loopy. And when we return, more Action League now, right here on Kablam! Action League now. The Chief. Slice, dice, bash, and smash. As the big guy prepares to meet the bigger guy, the League gathers around to say their final farewells. Chief, I know you can't hear me, but I want you to know we've been thinking about you. Yeah, like the time we blew you up with a nuclear bomb. And the time we accidentally diced you in a food processor. <laughs> I don't believe this. His blood pressure is suddenly skyrocketing. The time with the milkshake maker. The trash compactor. The waffle iron. Ah! Blimey, the chief's come out of his deadly coma. Hooray! That's our chiefy. He's back. Gotta love him. Yeah, and you morons are in more trouble than a ballerina in a barroom brawl. Come on, chief. We're going home. No, don't touch me. No! Oopsies! The end. Hey, Kablamsters! We're here at the La Galleria Shopping Plaza, getting ready for an exclusive public appearance. In other words, we're shaking hands with people at some cheesy mall. Henroid, get with the program. If we want a long career in showbiz, we've got to extend the Henry and June brand. Now buck up! The only thing we have to worry about is whether there's enough security out there to protect us from our legions of adoring fans. You're right, June. Let's get out there and blow the roof off this joint! June, where is everyone? Relax, Henry. These are the real, hardcore fans. We're solidifying our base. Attention, shoppers. Say Cheese is now giving away samples of our lactose-free Jack in the food court. Kablam! Welcome back to Kablam! Home of the Great Buy. How great? How does $49.99 sound for this one-of-a-kind actor's chair? That's right. Now you can keep your Heiner in the very same recliner used by yours truly. Now, I know what you're thinking. Henry and June realize they have no future in showbiz, so they're desperately cashing in while they still can. You 
Well, let me assure you, nothing could be further from the truth. We're only parting with these priceless artifacts because we want to give something back to you, the viewer. Call now. Our operator is standing by. Come on, what's the matter with you people? This is a really good chair! Ahem. <clears throat> How about we move on to our next item? <laughs> this attractive set of 8-ounce styrofoam cups. Tell you what, I'll give you five bucks for everything I can fit in my truck. Sold! At least somebody appreciates these one-of-a-kind museum-quality treasures. This'll keep me warm all winter. Hey, I can use this for kindling. Hey dudes, Larry here. Everyone knows Bug Steak is the coolest band on the planet. Why? Cause they rock, cause they're dope, and cause they really know what it's like to be a kid. Down with the kids, we're just like you. We understand what you're going through. We're down with the kids, we know where it's at. The kids are fat, the kids are tight, the kids are all that. What's this? Loser Palooza? Hey guys, check this out. Bug Steak is playing a live show this weekend. Oh, dude, it's a hundred bucks a ticket. That's like two months allowance. No problemo, Lester. I'll just email Bug Steak at their official website. I'm sure they'll give us a break once they understand it's for the kids. Incoming message from bugsteak.com. Okay, here we go. Get real, dude. Charity Rock ain't where it's at. Cop up the cash or sign off, slacker? Sign Buck Steak? Uh, I, I, I can't believe it. Never mind, Larry. Come on, let's go over to my place. We just got premium cable. Yeah, sure, whatever. How dare they treat Larry like that? Sounds like those pop chart prima donnas need to be taken down a peg. Room service. Righteous! Hey, dude. Who are you? And where's our caviar croissants? Huh. Talk about lifestyles of the rich and lazy. No wonder you guys have lost touch with your fans. That's bogus, babe. Check out our lyrics. Bug State's totally down with the young generation. Okay, then prove it. I dare you. No, I double dare you to spend one night at a real kid's house. You're on! Mom, I brought some friends over. Can they stay the night? Sure, honey. Larry's staying over at Lyle's tonight so they can sleep in his room. Dinner's on the table in five minutes. Oh, my. Look at the state of those hands. Come on now. Scrub, scrub, scrub on the double. Righteous! I'm starving. What's in the pot, babe? Mind your manners, young man. That's Mrs. Cooper to you. As a matter of fact, you boys are very lucky. It's my Friday night special. Mystery meat casserole. <laughs> you know, that reminds me of a joke I once heard. A pork chop walks into a restaurant and asks to see a menu. Uh, wait, no, maybe it was a rump roast. Uh, no, it was definitely a pork chop. Anyway. So the pork chop turns to the liver sausage and says, Hey, buddy, pleased to meet ya. <laughs> Get it? Meat. <laughs> hmm. Mom, can we go outside and play basketball now? Yeah, cool. Righteous. Not so fast, young lady. Don't forget your chores. Aw, Mom. Come on, Loopy. It won't take long. I'm sure your little friends will help you. Uh, excuse me, missus. Can we watch some telly? I don't know. Can you? Uh, wh what do you mean? Well, just look at that hair. I'm surprised you can see anything through that mess. Luckily, I've got just a solution. No! And welcome back to the semi-finals of the annual Turnip Growers Tournament. Oh, what a glorious morning! Oh, what a wonderful day! Wakey, wakey, boys! Rise and shine! But, dude, it's only 6 a.m. 
That's right. The early bird catches the worm. We can't take it no more, babe. You were right. We had no idea how tough it is being a kid. You've taught us a lesson we'll never forget, Loopy Dude. Is there any way we can, like, return the favor? Well, since you ask... Hey, Larry, Mom said you've got to clean your room right now. Whatever. Hey, Larry, this one's for you, dude. One, two, three, four. English chores getting up early. Dad's in charge of what's on TV. Mum's made Mr. E beat for me. I've got a lame haircut and I look tweepy. Being a kid, it ain't easy. Being a kid can be real rough. I'm telling the truth, you've got to believe me. Being a kid, it's tough. Woohoo! Well, Kablammers, it's certainly been an eye opening and room clearing episode of Kablam. Dudes, awesome news. I got a TV gig. Really? That's great! Congratulations! Henry, you know what this means? If John Stamos can have a second chance in showbiz, so can we! You're right! We've got nothing to worry about! Phew! That's a load off. So, John, what's the show? I don't know. Some cartoon show. Turn in pages or something. I guess the old hosts are getting canned. Yeah, they spend too much time trying to cash in on their fame. <laughs> well, Kablammers, that'll do it for us today. Henry, June, do you copy? Henry and June. We've got a couple of trespasses in the vicinity of the donut table. We're on it. Henry and June out. Look on the bright side, June. We're still in show business. Hey, you kids! Those donuts are studio property! Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network. Time Kablamdits to a truly historic event. That's right. Today we're going to bury our very own time capsule, which is sealed shut and won't be opened until the year 3000. It's full of things that will tell the people of the future what it was like to live today. Go ahead, Mr. Foot, and lower her down. There it goes. The first step on its incredible voyage from the present to posterity. I think the future's going to really appreciate the historic stuff I put in there. Like Mark McGuire's 70th home run ball, a pair of relaxed fit cargo pants, and Vanilla Ice's comeback CD. So, what did you put in, Henry? Oh, you know, stuff. Hello? Henry? Mom, what are you doing? The show started. I know, but your school called asking me why I hadn't signed your report card. Well, how could I when I haven't even seen it yet? Um, it must have gotten misplaced somewhere. Okay, Mr. Foot, start filling in the hole. Well, I guess without your grades, you won't be able to continue in school. I'll just call them up and tell them you won't be coming back. Cool. Of course, it just won't do for Kablam to employ a middle school dropout. Fortunately, cherry picking season starting soon, so you should be able to find another job. Cherry picking? Um, Mr. Foot, I think I might have to get something out of the time capsule. Aha! Dateline Lunch Alamos Weapons Laboratory, where the mayor concocts a caustic chemical concoction. 
Hmm, not bad, but it could use some salt. <laughs> Freeze, Mayor! I'm putting you under arrest for the illegal manufacture of chemical weapons! Oh, yeah? You in what army? This army! Ow! Whoopsies! Action League, now. Today's episode, Hey, Who Stole My Face? After a blender blunder, a skilled scientist conducts a risky medical procedure. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Is this the mayor's yes or no? Meanwhile, our heroes nervously await the outcome. This doesn't look good, mates. Anybody got any threes? Go fish! Good news. The operation was a complete success. Welcome back, Chiefster. Wait! Why are you calling him the Chief? Shut your pie hole, Mayor! Ow! I'm the Chief? Hmm, yes. I am the Chief. Aren't I? I mean, blast it! I'm the Chief, and I want you to take that criminal to prison! Right away, Chief. No! Wait! You've got it all wrong! That lab idiot switched our faces! I'm the Chief! Yeah, sure. Still working on that insanity defense, huh, Mr. Mayor? What's wrong with justice? Nothing, as long as it doesn't interfere with an evil plan. I was talking about your dog. Oh, my doggy loves me, don't you? Ow! Scrappy little hound. How are you feeling, Chief? Thoughts of you look a little pale. Eh, uh, yes, I'm, uh, pale with rage at that amazing genius, the mayor. We've got to close down that excitingly evil laboratory of his immediately. Now move out on the double. <laughs> on the double to your doom. <laughs> Moments later. I'm telling you, I'm the chief. I'm the one responsible for locking all these criminals up! I shouldn't be in here! Hey, look, it's the chief with the mayor's face. Oh, yeah. Let's get him. Uh-oh. I've got a gut feeling that something's funny about the chief. Like what? I don't know. Something's different. Sorry I'm late. Now I know what it is. You got a new suit, chief! That's not all I have that's new. Check out my new rolling pin! Later that day... Get ready to feel the burn, action morons! Chief, have you lost your mind? No, just my face! I'm not the chief, I'm the mayor! <laughs> Help! Hot Town, summer in the city. Does the Action League deserve our pity? Find out in the action-seared conclusion of Action League now. Welcome back, Kablamistanis. Hey, June, look what I found behind the water cooler. A pair of relaxed fit cargo pants. I thought you put these in the time capsule. Huh, that's weird. Hey, that coaster. Vanilla ice? I know we agreed to put in the latest comeback CD from our favorite white rapper. Um, gosh, that's a shame. These things really belong in the time capsule. Oh, well, maybe next millennium. Hey, that's Mark McGuire's 70th home run ball. What's going on here? Mr. Foot, please dig up the receptacle. Henry, you don't want to make Mr. Foot do all that work. <laughs> it's not fair with what we pay him. What the? Um, I can't think of a better time than now for a little Prometheus and Bob. 900,000 years ago, an alien videotaped his attempts to educate a caveman. The Prometheus and Bob tapes. Tape 403. Dating. Hey! 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 
Come, Jet Cat. Life with Loopy. And when we return, more Action League now, right here on Kablam! Action League now. Faces exchanged. The mayor deranged. The league's funeral arranged. As the mayor says goodbye, the chief says... Ow! Ow! That'll teach you to arrest hard-working criminals. Oh! Ow! 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 That's the stink boy! Get me out of here! Help! You're feeling hot, hot, hot. Not so fast, mayor! Uh-oh, here's trouble. <laughs> yes, it hurts. Moments later... Thanks for saving us, Chief. Don't thank me! Just give me back my blasted face! Oh, right. Thank goodness! I thought I was gonna be stuck with this ugly mug forever! Good to have you back, Chiefy! <laughs> the End Well, Kablamers, Henry and I have finally gotten on the same page about this whole time capsule business. See, I had my own ideas about what should go in, and so did June. We had to make some really difficult decisions, so we got together and did the only fair thing. We got a bigger time capsule. Okay, Mr. Foot, lower away. I don't know who'll see this thing next, but it's sure gonna rock their world. Well, it looks like we've got something new to put in the time capsule. A lawsuit. Oh boy, lunch time. I'm starved. And I had the best lunch today. Fruit punch, tuna salad, and chocolate chip cookies. <sighs> You mean your mom's homemade chocolate chip cookies? Yep. Mmm. If you're nice, I might let you have one. Hey, check it out, Todd. Get wet at Wet Park. Grand opening this Saturday. Oh, yeah. I want to be the first one down that brand new, super fast, gut wrenching water slide, the Nauseator. You mean the second one down? Huh? Right behind me. Ha. <laughs> We'll see about that. 
<laughs> At last, the tide turns. Jetcat will rule the day she demolished my tidal wave machine. Now, I'm going to destroy her precious Anvil. Ooh, ooh. Jetcat! Cry for help. What crummy timing. Hey, maybe Jet Cat can use some backup. I'd make a great super partner. Uh, sure, Tide. Um, why don't you take on the special mission of guarding my cookies till I get back? That's not what I meant, and you know it! Time to fly like a jet, fight like a cat. I'm not getting any water. I won't be able to open my park. Oh, please help. What? No nauseator? Don't call off your blimp just yet. Jet Cat will get to the bottom of this. Blimp? Gee, we don't have a blimp. Wait a minute. If it's not your blimp, something's fishy. Todd better not eat those cookies. Touch it. Okay. Phew. <laughs> Moby Duck, didn't you learn to swim straight after I destroyed your tidal wave machine? <laughs> you know, it's hard to teach an old whale new tricks. <laughs> but no trick will be able to stop my aqua blimp. When it's done draining your reservoir, I shall have enough water to drown all of Artville! All of it! <laughs> That's just a morsel of what's in store for your beloved city! <laughs> Not if I can help it, Plankton Breath! <laughs> My mama told me that if you make a plan, you ought to stick to it! Hey, where do you think you're going? Oh, uh, good catch, Uncle Clam! <laughs> Clams aren't happy, they're hungry! No, one, eat, before, I do! <sighs> you can't take my pals' cookies, you stupid old blimp! Jet Cat, no! You wouldn't hurt a whale! I'm... I'm endangered! In danger of being lunch, maybe? See? The world's biggest sushi roll! <laughs> what a raw deal! Uh-oh! first one down the nauseator. Are you okay, buddy? Mission accomplished. Your cookies are saved. Thanks. You're the greatest. Maybe next time I'll find you a bigger job. Huh, sidekick? N next time? Go blam! Welcome back, co viewers. Good news, we found a place to bury our time capsule where it can't possibly do any more damage. So, if our extremely kind and patient friend is ready to assist us... 
Come on, Mr. Foot. We promise this is the very last time. Please, please, please. <sighs> Boy, just think how thrilled future generations will be when they dig up this lovingly prepared message from the past. Wait, there's something down there. Wow, it's a time capsule from the year 1000. Yeah, and it's in our hole. Get it out of there. Just think about it, June. The next time this thing will be opened is in the year 3000. Uh, has anyone seen my phone? Hi, Larry here. You know, my dad's a useful guy to have around the house. He's handy with the hammer and nails. He can change a fuse in five seconds flat. And when it comes to backed up drains, he's king of the clogs. See, kids? The hairball. The major cause of your basic household blockage. Yep, Dad knows his plumbing all right. But one soggy day last January... Don't panic, people. One more plunge, and this puppy's coming up. It looked like he'd finally met his match. That's when Loopy figured it was time to lend a helping hand. Maybe I'll go outside and check the main drain pipe. Better wear this, Loopy, or you'll freeze to death out there. Hard to tell a hairball from a hat rack down there. Wait a minute. What's that? Ah! Sector 5, drain pipe number 6. Contents are as follows. One very large, soggy hairball. Hands off, Buster. Who are you calling a hairball? That's not a hairball. That's a little girl. What's a little girl doing pretending to be a hairball? And what are you two doing down here messing with the drains? Drains are our business, young lady. We are the Drain Patrol. We travel the globe, clobbering clogs, battling backups, and hammering hairballs. Hey, maybe you guys can help with my dad's plumbing problems. Way ahead of you, little lady. That's why we're here. Picked up a blip on the sonar this morning. There, it's a big one, all right. Not your standard size hairball, that's for sure. Switching to close range visual now. Ah! That's the most hideous hairball I've ever seen. That's not a hairball, you big dummy. It's a giant squid. Ah! Man, the torpedoes! Wait, what are you guys going to do? Do? What do you think we're going to do? Blow it up! Hey, slow down, hotshots. Maybe it's just lost. Let me try talking to it first. All right, all right. But if you're not back in five minutes, old Billy the Squid there is getting a broadside up the stern side. Hey, let me go, Legs for Brains. I'm trying to help you. Help me? Who needs help? Everything's mellow, little sister. But you're blocking my dad's drain. Too bad, small fry. I'm sick of icing my extremities at the bottom of the ocean. <sighs> nope. Life in the dreams is where it's at, baby. Now listen up, Charlie. If you don't butt your blubbery backside in the next 30 seconds, those drain brains in the sub are going to blast you into calamari chunks. Who cares? It beats going back there to freeze to death. Freeze to death? Wait a minute. I have an idea. See? What did I tell you? No point in arguing with sea monsters. Prepare to fire torpedoes! Torpedoes? Hairballs! Hey, that is not regulation drain patrol procedure. Put a lid on it, Sewer Sam. <laughs> okay, you two. Man those plunger poles. Nice knitting, fellas. That should keep him warm and toasty. These threads are happening, baby. Just wait till the other squids check me out. 
Well, by this time, Dad had been plugging away for hours, and he was just about ready to admit defeat when suddenly... Whoa, Nelly! Look out, everybody! Here she comes! Jumping Jiminy! What kind of clog is that? Hey, nice plunging, Pop! Loopy? What were you doing down there? Well, Dad, let's just say I've got friends in low places. Finally, we're all set. We've got our time capsule, we've got our hole, we've got our phone. What better way to end the show than by dropping this sucker into the ground and covering it up with dirt? But wait, we're forgetting someone. Mr. Foot, you've been such a great sport. Are there one or two things you'd like to put into the Kablam time capsule? Uh, June? I, I have to, uh... Forget it, Henroid. You're holding it till the year 3000. Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network. Free episode of Kablam! That's right. We're joining you today from the great outdoors where Team Kablam is on its annual corporate retreat. The network suits make us go on these things to build team spirit. That's fancy talk for free vacation. <laughs> Henry, honey, are you wearing enough insect repellent? Mom, my brand new six pocket safari shirt! <laughs> I didn't ask her to come. I gotta tell you, Magoo. The name's McGee. Ow! I haven't felt this good since my army days. Give me a shovel and a roll of TP, and I'm ready to bivouac. Well, I'm not much of a nature fan myself. Seen a few too many episodes of When Animals Go Berserk. What are you worried about? We got Big Shoe here in our corner. <laughs> Our food! My brand new Vortex sleeping bag with polar fleece lining! Nobody make any sudden moves. Maybe a cartoon will calm down. Oh boy! They're interviewing the actor who plays Jumbo Head in the new movie! So, Mr. Hackman, did you find it difficult to prepare for this role? He'll never be Jumbo Head to me. Yeah, but I bet you still wish you were at the premiere tonight. Who wouldn't? Enough of the silly movie premiere! So, Advil, you continue to ignore me, do you? It's that vain villain, Vicky Von Berman. Well, ignore this! One push of the button and your cherished bug zapper factory goes kaboom! <laughs> My big threat is sure to attract that troublesome jet cat. And when I destroy her, everybody will know the name Vicky Von Berman! <laughs> Can I come? What's her name? 
this pretty puny. I could take her. No way, Todd. It's too dangerous. She's tougher than she looks. She's not. Now to zap this innocent-looking glass of milk with my amazing motorizer ray. One sip of this, and Jet Cat will be transformed into a moth and powerless to resist the lure of the Bug Zapper. That's it, little jet kitty. Come closer. Closer. Huh. Just cause my name is Jet Cat, she thinks I'll lap up this milk. What a lame trap. No, it's not lame. It's genius. Just drink it. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, nuts. <laughs> <sighs> Huh? Mmm. Leave that milk alone, you rotten kid! It's for Jet Cat! Huh? Who's there? Eh, must be the wind. I am not the wind! Do I sound like the wind? Oh, oh. Ah, refreshing. Todd, what are you doing here? Your problems are over, buddy. I'm here to <coughs> help. <laughs> All us pests. Big the lot. Stay away from the bug zappers! Get back here! Hey now, this isn't so bad after all. <laughs> There's a bright idea. I can destroy Jet Cat, her annoying friend, and that movie premiere. Then I'll be extra famous! But how? Jet Cat, what is this monster? Are we safe? Does it have anything to do with Vicky Von Berman? Nope. No connection between Vicky Von Berman and the Big Moth in any way. What? Seems like he just changed into a moth. I have no idea how it happened. It was me! The Moth Boy is my creation! I'm sure it'll pass. Must be something he ate. No! And change him back. That's good news for you, Von Vermin. Unless you get a thrill out of being squished. Go ahead and try it, you oversized party pooper. Nothing can keep Victor Von Vermin down. Not you. Nice going. How often do I get to be a cool giant moth? Next time, don't be so quick to spoil my fun. <laughs> fun? You were about to cremate yourself. Oh, yeah, that. But I could have been your sidekick moth boy. <laughs> My mindless, useless sidekick moth boy. Shh! <laughs> Hoo-wee! Yeah, how about that for... <gasps> that sounds like a whole panzer division. C Company, fall back! Great, we're about to be grizzly meat, and he's having an army flashback. You, Private. Get on the blower and radio for air cover. That's an order. I don't like your manners, mister. 
That's that. Yeah, but we're still stuck here. Nonsense! Mr. Foot will be back for us. In your dreams, sister. I don't like your tone. Time out. Now listen up. We may have lost all our stuff, but I've still got this bad mammer jammer. What is that thing? Say hello to the GPS Personal Navigator 12,000. It uses satellite technology to tell us Grenade! Our... Hit the dirt! <laughs> Mr. Stockdale! No need to thank me, Marine. I know you do the same for me. Since it looks like we're gonna be here for a while, why don't we all enjoy a little Action League now? Dateline, the living room repository of knowledge, where the priceless records of human thought are pilfered by the evil genius, Smarty Pants. As soon as I steal the rest of the books and CDs, all the world's knowledge will be mine! Is that genius or what? With Smarty Pants on a swiping spree, the Action League safeguards the world's knowledge by putting it in the last place anyone would think to look. The flesh is brave. Gooders! A party hat! Is it my birthday again? <laughs> well, lab guy, did you kill him? Flesh, can you hear me? As surely as Madison is the capital of Wisconsin. Chess, anyone? Action League, now. Today's episode, A Flesh of Brilliance. We find our heroes harnessing the Flesh's new brain power. He did it! Amazing! If I hadn't seen it, I wouldn't have believed it. What's going on? I have successfully programmed the VCR. Yay! To record nothing but the History Channel. Ooh! All right, cut the chatter, you clowns. Smarty Pants is out there, and we gotta stop him. Excuse me, Chief, but there's no such word in the English language as gotta. Ah, uh, right. Bless you stay here. We can't put your knowledge at risk. I'm a step ahead of you, Chief. To stay in touch, I fashioned these devices from a kit I ordered via the Internet. Whatever! Let's move out! Tut tut, Chief. Never end a sentence with a preposition. Blast it! Let's go! All those who like flesh better when he was an idiot, say I! I! Later, at Dad's Study National Archives. Okay, people. I want you quieter than a mute mouse at a monastery. You two stay here. Me and Stinky will. Excuse will'll... me, Chief. What is it now, flesh? Stinky and I. Blast it! That's it at grammar school! And I don't have to take any more... What have we here? Overnight egghead! Get me? Or do I have to come back there and spell it out for you? Later in Smarty Pants' hideout... What are we doing here? I'll state it simply so your tiny brains can comprehend. You're about to be destroyed, obliterated, pulverized, expunged. Whew, I've got a good vocabulary. The joke's on you, Smarty Pants. We've hidden the world's knowledge in a place you'll never find it. Bonjour, mes amis. Make that adios, amigo. My word. Flesh, I told you to stay at headquarters. Pish posh. What good is having all the world's knowledge if there's no one to whom I can show it off? This nattering nabob is your so-called repository of knowledge. Quick, name the capital of Ohio. Columbus, of course. Correct. I obviously underestimated you. Perhaps a game of chess will prove my superior intellect. You strike me as a sporting man. May I propose a wager? If I win, you set us all free. And if I win, all the knowledge is mine. You're on, Mr. Uh... Doctor. Doctor the Flesh. One hour later... Your king appears to be in grave danger, Monsieur Pantalon. You play very well, Dr. Flesh. But it's not over until the heavyset woman warbles. It's your move. <laughs> Gullers! Where am I? Blimey! The blow to the head knocked all the knowledge out of his brain! Oh, no! Oh, yes. Lookers, I'm king of the castle! Oof. Is this checkmate for the league? Or can a witless wonder match wits with a wicked wunderkind? 
Find out in the action brain's conclusion of Action League Now. Hey, Kablamoids, keep your hider in the recliner. Still to come, Life with Loopy. And when we return, more Action League Now, right here on Kablam! Action League Now. The best build, the best brain. Is it too good to be true? You bet your gray matter. Time is running out, Dr. Flesh. Move or your colleagues perish. Ho, oh, ho! Oh, look at the horsey! I want to ride the horsey! Checkmate! It's inconceivable. I, smarty pants, have been defeated by an imbecile, simpleton, Ignorabus! Dollard! <laughs> Hooray! We're safe! Way to go, Fleshy! Hello. Later... I can't go to prison. I'm too smart for prison. Erudite, learned, scholarly. Good to have the old flesh back, huh? I'll say. I like you, horsey. Ooh. Ah. On second thought, the end. Funny stuff, I guess. Right now, I'm too hungry to laugh. We're all gonna starve to death. Unless the Grizzlies get us first. He's never coming back, is he, that ape man? Food! Food! If you can all stop your whining for two seconds, maybe you'd like to try a piece of this. Ahuga! Where'd you get that? Well, my green-haired friend, as a decorated member of the Logfire Girls, I know a thing or two about wilderness survival. You see, the woods are full of edible berries. Of course, you have to be careful to eat only the blue ones with the red spots. I don't feel so good. Or is it the red ones with the blue spots? Wait a second. Don't tell me. Now I remember why I got kicked out of the log fire, girls. <laughs> Dear Diary, it's minute 22 of our wilderness nightmare, and I don't know how much longer we can hold out. As I look across the faces of my brave yet doomed companions... A plane! Ahuga! Give me a boost up that tree! I'll signal him with my medallion! Stop that! You'll hurt him! Ahuga! <laughs> Give me rooms. Here's how you do it. Let me handle this! I'm a former log fire girl! Stand back! I've got a water resistant pull cord flare! <laughs> Jerk. Cody? This is all your fault. Nice going. what I do? I'm in a meeting. Whoosh. Darn things. Always going off at the worst possible time. Mr. Mr. Stockdale, Stockdale, we, we could, could have been, been rescued. rescued. Rescued? Are we lost or something? <laughs> Hi, Larry here. You know, people often wonder what Loopy's going to be when she grows up. An astrophysicist? Brain surgeon? Well, after seeing her at our yard sale last weekend, I'd say she's going to sell used cars. Because when it comes to wheeling and dealing, Loopy's the cut price queen. Check it out, folks. Everything's got to go. Our prices are insane. By lunchtime, she'd sold just about everything. Boy, all that haggling made me hungry. Where's lunch? Here you go, honey. Now, where's that father of yours? Last time I saw him, he was out front, taking a nap in the recliner. The recliner? I just sold that to a couple of weird guys in overcoats. Oh, dear. You must have sold your father along with it. Don't worry, Mom. I'll just go buy him back. Hey, fellas, wait up. Ratlin Roswell, a UFO. Wait! Oz 
Zutney. We really scored this time a genuine Earthian recliner. Mugrub, check this out. A bonus item. Whoa, what's going on, fellas? Is it Halloween already? <laughs> you know, you kids really ought to clean this place up a little. No point in putting off till tomorrow what you can do today. <laughs> Zutney, this Earth creature speaks words of great wisdom. He must be a philosopher amongst these people. What a deal. What a bargain. All this for eight bucks. Slow down, you discount dummies. That's not a bargain. That's my dad. And I didn't mean to sell him, so here's your money back. Sorry, Earthling, no can do. We are Bagrab and Zatni, intergalactic bargain hunters. Where we come from, a deal's a deal. But, but he's my dad. Okay, okay, I tell you what. We leave for a yard sale on Neptune at three o'clock this afternoon. If you can find a worthy trade item by then, we can talk the turkey. But I tell you this, Earthling, it had better be good. Whoa, Nelly! Gotta remember that little trick next time I get stuck in a traffic jam. Hey, speaking of jams, did I get stuck in a doozy last Labor Day weekend? See, fellas, old Dickie Greenberg and I were setting off on one of our bass fishing expeditions. Jumpin' Jupiter! What do you get for the alien who's got everything? A washing machine. Perfect! It's gotta be tough keeping your underwear clean on those long space voyages. I'll take that one. A fine choice, madam. Will you be paying by debit or major credit card? Uh, how about a junior membership to the Yo-Yo Club? Uh. Huh, guess he's not a big Yo-Yo fan. So I say to Dick, how's about we pull into that gas station up ahead and ask directions? So in we go. Okay, okay, let me think. What else would you need on a long space voyage? Wait, I got it. Entertainment! Hi, Madonna. How would you like to perform for a pair of polka-dotted aliens bound for the furthest reaches of the galaxy? Hello? Madonna? <sighs> okay, Siegfried, I understand. Sure, give my best to Roy and the cats. Okay, bye. Oh, no! I'm almost out of time! Dad's done for if I can't think of something to trade in the next ten minutes. But what? What? Okay, Dad. Guess I know what I gotta do. Beam me up, Spotty. I'm ready to make a deal. So I said to Ron, I said, Ron, you gotta believe me, pal. That bass was this big. <laughs> okay, guys, here I am. Let's just get this over with. Thank heavens you're here. Please, please, take him away. We cannot stand it anymore. He's no philosopher. He's a gas bag. Never have Buck Robbins up me made such a merchandising misjudgment. You must take him back. Okay, we might be able to make a deal. So now Dad's back home, and none the worse for his close encounter. I tell you, honey, those two Martian monkeys had to be this big. Of course, dear. And Loopy, being the shrewd businesswoman she is, even got the aliens to throw in a little extra on the deal. Boy, I can't wait till I get my driver's license. I can't go on. I'm starving. What's the point? Just leave me here. Now, shush. I know there's a way out of here, and I intend to fight. It's been one heck of a ride, but every man's time must come. Hold the phone. Remember what this whole trip was about in the first place? Team Spirit. We're gonna cross that river, and we're gonna do it as a team! Jane's right. Yeah! Who wants a Jimmy hug? <laughs>
Yeah, and we did it as a team. You, this is all your fault. Leave her alone. Who rattled your cage? That's no way to talk to a lady, Corporal. What are you gonna do about it? Well, Glamours, so much for Team Spirit. We'll see you when we see ya. Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network. and welcome to a very special episode of Kablam! That's right, June. Today is Fan Appreciation Day, when we give something back to our beloved fans. This barrel contains entry ballots from Kablamoids all over the country. One lucky viewer will be chosen by us to be a special guest star on this very show. America's waiting, Henry. Let's make a dream come true. The lucky fan is... Mr. Ryan Malloy! Oh, no. Not that weird kid from school. Man, oh, manifest destiny! I can't believe I won! How'd you get down here so fast, Ryan? I was waiting outside by the studio just in case I won. Some luck, huh? Co-star Henroid. I'll say. Hey, how about a guided tour of your dressing rooms? I brought special Ziploc bags, so I could take home your dirty socks without upsetting the DNA. We'd love that, Ryan. Really. But it happens to be time for Action League now, which means we have to... Turn the page! Oh, let me, let me! Wait, Ryan, not too hard! I'm keeping this! Dateline, Bill the Lab Guy's lab, where a brilliant brainiac applies his decades of scientific study to a lube job. Hurry it up, Lab Guy! Hot Spots is on the loose again, and we need the action mobile ASAP! Got it! I got it all right! And you're gonna get yours, action jerk! <laughs> Hodgepodge, you fiend. What have you done to the action mobile? Just watch, half a lab guy! Now the action mobile's gonna be unsafe at any speed! Ah! Uh, action League, now. Today's episode, Tune Up of Terror. We find our heroes at Action HQ, all revved up and ready to go. Okay, you bozos. Hot Spots is out there like a bad smell on our booyah base. Now get on it! Great, I'll drive. What? Good one. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and I'm the king of Finland. I'm serious. I finally passed my driver's test. I guess they got tired of him coming down there and wrecking all their cars. What do you say, Chief? Can I drive, can I? Oh, pretty please. All right, just this once. Yay, I get to drive! Now that's torque. Now go easy on that gas pedal. <laughs> ah! What was that, Chief? I said go easy on that. Ah! Oh. How's my driving? Now one eight hundred jerks. Look out! Look good, easy. Ah! Heel boy, heel. James, stop this 
crazy things! Aren't these things supposed to have airbags? <laughs> Ow! Moments later... Looks like you won't be needing this anymore, jerk! Menace, Roadhog! But, Chief, it's not my fault! That car's got a mind of its own! Well, that makes one of you! From now on, the only thing you're driving is a death! The rest of you, let's move out! But... but... Aw, oh, man... No, I was afraid of this. Bill, what happened to your legs? It's Hodgepodge. He's planted a remote control device in the Axmobile. That car's a death trap. Phew, glad I'm not with him. No, you fool. We have to stop them. Uh, yeah, right. This is my big chance to be a hero and prove I can drive. Oh, joy. Uh, Ow. Sorry, I'm not used to power brakes. Meanwhile... Keep your eyes peeled for hot spots. What a beautiful day for a little spin action, dumbhead! Here comes lunch! Yummers! Yuckers! Chief, did you take a driving lesson from Meltman? That melted meathead wrecked the delicate calibration of the rack and pinion steering! Fortunately, I'm a great driver, and I can adjust! Ah! Nice adjustment, Chief! Blast it! What in the Sam Hill is going on here? Chief, no! Stop the car! Oh, goody, goody, gumdrop! Bumper cars for bumper jerks! Whoa! Don't worry, Chief. Uh, start worrying. Ah! Put on the brakes! Mommy! Stop! Not having fun! Going my way, action losers! Hot oh, That's my name! Yeah! Too bad you won't have a chance to wear it out! <laughs> What's this? Is the Action League about to become an action pancake? Find out in the action injection-fueled conclusion of Action League Now. hoo -ah. Now that's what I call Kablamity. Kablamity! Good one, June! I also liked it the first time you used it, back in episode 42! This will make a great cuff fun fact for my website. You guys can browse it, right? Kablamfan.com? My laptop's busted. Then I guess you haven't seen my Henry and June Before They Were Stars page. Look, I posted a video clip of your very first media appearance. Toby Nabs diapers. Heavy <laughs> duty for heavy duty. Cool, huh? I also got Henry's first TV appearance on America's Nuttiest Home Videos. Hey, how about an afternoon down on the farm? <laughs> this youngster sure got a kick out of it. Is that Castell? What? Well, Ryan, we'd like to thank you for stopping by. That's right. Sorry you have to go, but we've got a show to do. Wait a second. The ad for the contest says the lucky winner gets to stay for the whole show. So we got plenty of time to hang out. Man, oh man, spacecraft, this is going to be fun. It sure is. What you are about to see is top secret. It is a videotape recorded 900,000 years ago by an alien using a remote-controlled camera. It shows his attempts to educate a caveman. They have been codenamed the Prometheus and Bob Tapes. Tape 406. Pet. Good? <laughs> Okay. 
to come little freaks a music video from they might be giants and when we return more action league now right here on top Lamb. action league now with a vengeful villain enjoying his joystick is this the end of the road for our speeding superheroes Sorry, I don't break for evil. Huh? Ah! No fair! Whoop! Dog it! I can steer again! Why don't these things work on big cars? Darn! Ah! Later that day. Yay! Nope, man. We owe you our lives. If you ever want to drive the action mobile... Do you mean it? You've earned it! Yay! I get to drive! Now remember, go easy on the gas. Yippee! <gasps> the end. Welcome back to Fan Appreciation Day. Henry and I are feeling very appreciative right now. Yes, we are, because our extremely annoying number one fan seems to have taken our hint and made himself scarce. Hey, what's the deal with these cameras? No! Cut! Let's try that again! Mano, Barry Manilow, what are you doing out there, camera one? Everybody knows Henry's right side is his good side. Do I have to tell you turkeys everything? <laughs> Don't worry, Henry and June, you guys were perfect. Ryan, what are you doing in the control room? I'm directing this segment of the show. Is that great or what? You directing? It's part of the contest, remember? The lucky winner will get a chance to join in on all the behind-the-scenes action. You know, this isn't exactly what we had in mind, Ryan. Oh, I know what you're looking for. Stand by. Isn't that amazing? Uh -huh. June, remind me. Next time we want to have a contest. Don't worry. We won't. And now here's a little treat called Little Freaks. Little Freaks. Our story begins here in the studio of the evil fashion villain, No Face. The best fashion is one fashion. <laughs> no? It seems this troubled tweed merchant is releasing special moths into the atmosphere that are now eating everyone's clothes. As the famished moths munch, overexposed citizens are forced to wear No Face's personal line of moth retardant apparel. My plan is working! <laughs> and Center City is thrown into a state of total uniformity. Meanwhile, on the other side of town, Leon is very cool. Uh, what? A small band of unlikely heroes known as the Little Freaks are studying this perplexing predicament. Freaks, 
We gotta do something. The sheer fabric of self-expression is dangling by a thread. Trila is right. If everyone is forced to wear no faces jumpsuits, everyone will look the same. Well, at least their clothes will. Besides, jumpsuits are an assault on a person's sense of self-identity. Desperate for a solution, the group turns to Brangel for a plan. But then, suddenly, though not surprisingly, Brangel's beautiful brain goes dead. Whoa. I want to be a dentist. And then it comes alive again. Yay! And with the kind of speed you only see in cartoons, the little freaks prepare to launch themselves directly into the lair of the evil haberdasher. Wait! First, I will control what they wear, then what they think, and then the world will be mine! Ah, <laughs> uh, ha! Ah, uh ha, -huh, what? Yeah, ha, hi, hey, uh... Hey, uh, where's Dubs? Funny you should ask, for it seems that Dubs missed the mark and landed instead in the dark, lonely, but rent-controlled apartment of an aging disco queen. I want you. <laughs> To have this? A disco ball? Uh, thanks. Thanks indeed, because when Dubs displays his luminescent gift, the intoxicating beat of disco music begins to fill the air. Oh, no! Oh, yes, because no faces lonely and overworked moths are quickly drawn to the light, the excitement, and the chance to maybe meet someone nice. Hi. Hi. What you think this is, some kind of school dance? I'm trying to take over the world! Forget it, No-Face. They're moths. They like the nightlife. They like the boogie. Oh, no! <sighs> Jumpsuits for sale. Cheap. And once again, Center City has been saved by the Little Freaks. An individual expression through fashion has returned to this quiet urban hamlet. Thanks for watching. And remember, sometimes it takes a little freak to solve a big problem and make the world normal again. Little Freaks. Go blam! What if we just turn out all the lights? Maybe he'll think the show's over and leave. Oh, hi everyone. Welcome back. We were just trying to figure out how to, uh, show our appreciation to our lucky contest winner. Excuse me. Hey, what do you think you're doing? That's our set. Mantle, Mickey Mantle. These suckers are heavy. Ryan, what's going on here? You know how the ad for the contest says the winner's entitled to a souvenir from the show? Well, I'm just taking my souvenir, the set. Back in a flash. We gotta do something about that guy, June, before... Hey, check this out. What? All these ballots have Ryan's name on them. While we get to the bottom of this, why don't you get to the bottom of a brand new video? It's Dr. Worm by They Might Be Giants.
morning, how are you? I'm Dr. Worm. I'm interested in things. I'm not a real doctor, but I am a real worm. I have an actual worm. I live like a worm, and I like to play the drums. I think I'm getting good, but I can handle criticism. I'll show you what I know, and you can tell. Welcome back. We're here with our Lucky Fan Appreciation Day contest winner, Ryan Malloy. Man, oh man, red man! I still can't believe I'm here with Henry and June! Neither can we. Ryan, remember how earlier you showed some rare footage of us? Well, we decided to show some rare footage of you. Could we roll that tape? That's a great idea! What footage? Oh, just security camera footage of you stuffing a contest ballot box with your own ballots? Man, oh man, Trey and Candidate, that certainly is some rare footage. You guys aren't mad at me, are you? Kawow! Mr. Foot is throwing me in the trunk of a car! Just like he did to Hector in episode 14 and Glenn Dilworth in episode 30. And so we say a fond farewell to our lucky contest winner. We'll see you next time on a cartoon crammed and contest free episode of Kablam! Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network. Henry and June here, ready to kick that cartoon flavor. First up, an unscheduled visit from our very own network executive, Fred Stockdale. What's that? Oh, hello, Harold, Jane. I'm afraid this isn't a social call. You see, I've been asked by the network to come down to the set and fire someone. I'm sorry. I needed the extra pens for school. I didn't think anyone would miss them. Please don't fire me. <laughs> I'm not firing you, Harold. I'm firing a stagehand. A Mr. B. Foot. Mr. Foot? Phew. You can't fire Mr. Foot. He hasn't done anything. I think that might be part of the problem. My gum, it tears me up inside. <laughs> Why is it always Fred who has to be the bad guy? It's just not fair. It shouldn't be your job. You're right. It should be your job. You fire him. What? But... Fire him, or I'll fire uh? you for stealing pens. Uh? That goes for you, too, Missy. Whoa. I 
can't believe we have to fire Mr. Foot. Well, guess we might as well get it over with, huh? Hey, Mr. Foot. Sorry to bother you, buddy, but we need to talk. Hello? Come on, big fella. Wakey, wakey. cock a doo do Do. While we figure out a way to can Mr. Foot, you can watch this episode of Action League now. Dateline, Bill the Lab Guy's lab, where a stoked scientist makes an astonishing announcement. This is one of the most important discoveries in medical history. I thought somebody already invented the guinea pig. Not that, Flesh. This guinea pig carries a previously unidentified virus I've just christened the body-eating virus because, well, it eats your body until there's nothing left. Cool. Yes. And highly contagious. Whatever you do, don't touch that animal. Look, guys, I'm a cowboy. Yeehaw! Oopsies. Action League, now. Today's episode, What's Eating the Flesh? As a body-eating virus violates the flesh, the League turns to a trusted lab guy for help. Hmm, fascinating. There's nothing I can do, and if anyone touches him, they're doomed as well. Bill, you've got to cure him! Flesh's life is at stake. Yeah, right, but more important, who else is going to caddy for me at the all Cheese Golf Classic? Well, I could look for a cure in the rainforest. I know a shaman who might be able to help. Well, go find a blasted shaman then! I tee off at 1.30, and I can't win without the flesh! <laughs> Don't worry, Flesh. You're gonna be fine. Phew, that's a relief. And so, as a lab guy races the clock to find a cure, the League gives the Flesh a little TLC. Ugh, repulsive. Talk about beyond the call of duty. Hey, at least you don't have to shave his chest. Meanwhile, at Waxed Wood Driving Range, the Chief attends to more pressing matters. I am Tiger Woods! I did it! I shaved his chest without touching him! <laughs> no! Now I've got the body-eating virus! Yuck! I'm out of here! <laughs> Thunder girl, fling the virus before it infects. Oh! Out! Crikey! Now we've all got it. My arm. No, that's mine. Will someone pass me a leg? Meanwhile, at kitchen windowsill rainforest, Bill consults with a colleague. The cure for the body-eating virus. What is it? Ooga booga. Medicinal sap. Excellent. Where is this sap? Ooga booga booga. Bowie! Shake it again! No, I was afraid of this. Where is the sap? Ooga. Yes, yes. Tell me, Ooga what? Ow. Blast it! That was my last ball! Chief, we need help. Fast! Okay, but just don't touch me! Hey, gang, wait up! Ooga! <laughs> You moron! Now we're all doomed! Will the Action League rest in pieces? Find out in the action munched conclusion of Action League Now. Hey, Kablamaholics. If you've just tuned in, we've been told by the network to fire our stalwart stagehand, Mr. Foot. Because, well, he hasn't exactly been doing his job. So, like the true professionals we are, we took the bull by the horns and decided to... Do his job for him. Once the network sees how spiffy this place looks, they'll probably give Mr. Foot a raise. Hey, June, turn off the sign, will ya? I'm gonna fix her up like new. <laughs> well, the moon's sure out early. Huh? <laughs> oh, nothing. Hand me those pliers, will you, June? Wow. Think how Mr. Foot will thank us when he finds out what we've done for him. Uh, 
some thanks. 900,000 years ago, an alien got sick trying to educate a caveman. He created a machine that would transform his unevolved student into an intelligent modern man. The Prometheus and Bob tapes. Tape 677, Evolution Chamber. Blamoids, keep your hiner in the recliner. Still to come, Stewie the Dog Boy. A music video from They Might Be Giants. And when we return, more Action League now, right here on Kablam! Action League now. The League infected, their heads ejected. As the body-eating virus consumes our heroes, Bill the Lab Guy awakens to some good news. Ha! Huh. The sap. The medicinal sap. Eureka! Meanwhile, the League bands together for a touching final farewell. Planted! If I had any legs left, I'd stomp all your fool heads into the ground! Huh? What the? Relax, Chief. It's the cure. Hooray for Bill! Yay! Bill rules! You the man! And there's still time to make my golf tournament! Now, if I only had a golf ball left. Hey! Wait a minute! Moments later... Here we go! Give it a ride, Chief! Oop! Oh! Oh! Oop! 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 Yippee! Ahead in one! You see, Bill? I told you I couldn't win without the flesh! <laughs> <laughs> the end. We're back, and as you can see, we haven't gotten much further in the firing Mr. Foot department. I don't know how we're gonna be able to say goodbye to the big man, Henry. Think of all the memories we've shared. Yeah. Why don't you 
let me handle this. Excuse me, Mr. Foot. Look, I know you've been at the studio for a long time, but hey, nothing lasts forever, right? What I'm trying to say is you're... You're... It's not fair! They can't just toss you aside like some furry piece of trash! I won't stand for it! As heaven is my witness, you will never lose your job! You're fired. I don't think he heard you, Henry. But maybe this will perk you up. It's the world premiere of Stewie the Dog Boy! Once there was this different dog who could do more than bench a log. In fact, you could say he was something. Stuart? Let's go to the park. Yeah, I want to play in the monkey box. No, not today, guys. <laughs> Dad. Today's your first day of school. School's yucky. You get to make a lot of new friends. Come on, Stewie. I'm be a good... Yep. <clears throat> Stewie. <laughs> Stewie, school is for kids. No dogs allowed. No dogs allowed. Hey, get out. Quit it. I'm in a bad mood. Bad mood? What's with you, Mr. Joykill? Oh, Melvis. Mom and Dad took the twins to school and left me here. What's up with that? School? What are you, nuts? You're a dog. Duh. You chew bones, dig holes, chase cats. I like them. <laughs> If the twins are going, I'm going to. But, but, but... Hey, Stewie, put on some pants. Hey, check it out. What kind of a freak carries his lunchbox in his mouth? A freak with a big nose. <laughs> Takes one to know one. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's all right. Hi, I'm Stewie. Lance. Oh, you must be that new foreign exchange student. <laughs> hey, Stewie. Stewie, sit here. Good morning, class. My name is Mr. Ramsey. Uh, itchy. <laughs> That's enough! I'm warning you. <laughs> Who is that kid? It's kind of funny looking, don't you think? Okay, we're gonna begin the school year with a very special treat. An educational film. Aww. The sun is the center of our universe in this order. Because the sun, well, I'll tell you, you needn't bother to figure out it would take about Neptune and beyond Neptune. Here is a photograph of the surface of the moon. Stuart, what are you doing? On the stars. The moon is 239,000 miles away, and that looks like a pretty good photograph. Whoa, of check out the new kid. Oh. Dude, that was messed up. Too funny. 
We are going to simulate the mighty volcano. It is very important to use the precise amounts. If you overdo it, the results could be dangerous. Hey, Stewie, check it out. Cool. What's wrong with yours? Hey, I got a bum volcano here. Nice work, Jennifer. He got it to work. Sure it did. Quite a first day of school, I'd say. Howling at the moon, scratching in class, talking back, growling. Uh, yes, sir. You also blew up a volcano and destroyed the science lab. You see, my volcano wouldn't erupt, so... So it wouldn't erupt, eh? That's right. But you fixed that, didn't you? You made the biggest, loudest, most powerful explosion this school has ever seen. I know your kind. I know what you are. <laughs> You're a genius! I am? I mean, <coughs> I am. Stewie, we are going to put this school on the map. In the meantime, uh, take it easy on old Ramsey. Yes, sir. All right, yeah. 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 He's kind of cute. <laughs> High five, Stewie. Yeah, check you later, lads. A, B, C, D, E, oh, oh, oh. Oh, poor Stewie. I don't think the little fella has moved all day. Oh, Stewie, we missed you so much. I have a special treat for you. We got oh, you a bone. You know a what? big juicy bone. You're gonna you. We love you so that. much. Kablam! Hey, Kablammers. Welcome back to another smooth sailing, trouble free episode of Kablam. Hey, Mr. Foot's gone. What happened to him? Well, Henroid, after watching your pathetic attempts at firing him, I had to step in and take care of business. Whoa! You fired Mr. Foot? Better. I found him another job. June, you're a genius. That's great. What job did you find him? What difference does it make? All he does is sleep anyways. Are you off your nut? What's the worst thing that could happen? Any other bright ideas? Uh, um, how about watching a brand new video by They Might Be Giants? The sun is a mass of incandescent gas, a gigantic nuclear furnace, where hydrogen is built into helium at a temperature of millions of degrees. The sun is hot, the sun is not a place where we could live. The sun is so hot that everything on it is a gas. Aluminum, copper, iron, and many others. The sun is blind. If the sun
sun will hollow a million Earths would fit inside. And yet, it is only a middle-sized star. The sun is far away, about 93 million miles away. And that's why it looks so small. But even when it's out of sight, the sun shines night and day. The sun is a mass of incandescent gas, a gigantic nuclear furnace, where hydrogen is built into helium at a temperature of millions of degrees. Well, Kablam Burgers, the show's just about over, and we've realized we just don't have what it takes to fire Mr. Foot. So we're going to tell our network executive we can't do it. And if that gets us fired, well, so be it. You know, Henroid, I wish we could have found him another job. Yeah, right, June. What kind of job requires no work whatsoever and encourages long, frequent naps? <laughs> You know, Henroys, I think Mr. Foote's gonna fit in very well here. I'm sorry, Mr. Foote's in an important meeting. I'm sorry, Mr. Stockdale can't be disturbed sorry, right Mr. now. I'm sorry, Miss Thorndike is very busy at the moment. I'm sorry, Mr. Ben Benito is on the I'm sorry, Miss Garcia has sorry, no time to be Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network. Cartoon Cram, I'm June, and we've got a real couple, Amaganza, coming at you. Isn't that right, Henrik? Henry? Kablamma who? Kablamaganza, you know, take Kablam, smash it into extravaganza, and what you get is... What you get is... Oh, crud. Look at us, Henry. We're just phoning it in. This is network TV. We could be cancelled at any moment. We have to live each show as if it were our last. We promised our audience a kablamaganza, so what do you say we give them one? Announcer guy, let's take it from the top. Here are your hosts, Henry and June. Hey there, lovers of the cartoon, Graham. I'm June, and like the man said... Ninjas at 3 o'clock. <laughs> Defeat them. Never say never, June. Just say. Hiya! While we save the world from people who know kung fu and stamp out boring humdrum television, why don't you watch Race Rabbit? With his turbo rabbit racer and the super chip max He's a burning rubber bunny with the need for speed But he's always got time for anybody in need Go, go, raise a rabbit with the turbo thrust Cause those inbred bullies from the upper crust Wanna catch you and stuff you but they're way too slow So go, go raise a rabbit, go, 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 go. Welcome back to the Sir Walter Rally Rally. We're nearing the conclusion on Cribbins. It looks like that furry fuel injected fireball race rabbit is going to win with ease. Unbelievable.
unbelievable. We're actually going to win a rally without one single call or interruption. Perhaps you spoke too soon, Max. Don't answer that race. I'm sure it's the wrong number. It's the Minister of Sweets calling from the big international peace conference. Help, Race Rabbit. One of our agents is stranded. We need you to pick up some microfilm and get it to the peace conference. PDQ. What is it, Minister? It's the top secret recipe for strawberries and cream. It's the only thing that will keep the Generalissimo at the table. Don't worry, Minister. I'm on it like a wig on a lord. Or queen and country race. Go speed, race rabbit! Minister, we're on our way. I must warn you, race. This recipe has been a national secret since the 14th century. Dessert chefs around the world will do anything for it. They'll have to catch me first. Don't worry, Max. It's only pie in the sky. Make a note for the mechanic, Max. The turbo deflector shield is on the fritz. What else can go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Cheerio, race rabbit. Allow me to introduce a dear, dear friend of mine. Mm. Mr. Heat. Seeking missile. <laughs> Don't touch that. It's my job. Come on, I'll never get to press the red button. I'm going to push it. No, me. No, me. 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 In fact, I was just about to order lunch. There's only one thing sweeter than strawberries and cream, Max. What's that race? Winning. Hey, citizens of the United States of Action. Better buckle yourself in. It's Kablamaganza time. Yowza! Talk about living each show as if it were your last. Nice day to take the train, and a nice day to die. 
Cool! It's Academy Award-winning actor John Voight! Hey, John! Hi there. Great show, by the way. Nice action stuff. Sorry I can't stay. Not so fast, big guy. Wow! How did we afford all of this? I'm glad you asked, Jennifer. Choo-choo. I just love choo-choo trains, don't you? What I do is move the money around. Take it out of here and move it right over here. So, where did you move the money out of to pay for all this stuff? The color department. And the animation budget. Had to slash that a bit, too. Yeah, well, you can slash your guest star budget, too. This show's a disaster. I'm out of here. Now, now. It's not so bad. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll play his part. Grr, I'll see you two in heck. While we try to fix our show, why don't you fix your eyes on Action League now? Dateline, really big carnival, where the greatest superheroes in the world crack down on a crooked carny. Wee! This is fun! Wee! Last it, no man! Get off that Delta world! We're here to work! Everyone! Keep your eyes peeled for this con artist! My stinky senses tell me she's nearby, Chief. Fortune, get your fortune here. You wish me to tell your future? No, but I'll tell you yours. You're going to jail for fraud in the first degree. Stay back, or I will place a curse on your head. Get real, Grifter. Father. Ha! I've heard better curses in choir practice. Nothing bad's gonna happen to me. Look at me, guys! Whee! Whoa! Action League, now. Today's episode, Fatter. With a felonious fortune teller behind bars, we find our heroes at Action Headquarters awaiting orders from the Chief. Uh, Chief, how about those orders? I'll have 20 burgers and six buckets of chicken from the Happy Gobbler. In the meantime, I'll be in the kitchen helping myself to a coffee can full of bacon fat. Did you guys notice anything strange about the Chief? No. I'm worried. I think he may be overeating. We better keep an eye on him. Later at Big Kitchen Kitchen... Gallers, what a mess! Crikey! Where's the chief? Woo! Dog it! I'm as hungry as a skinny roach at a smorgasbord! What are we going to do? He needs expert medical attention right away! Unfortunately, the action health plan only covers visits to Bill the Lab Guy. When did you start feeling hungry? Hmm. Was that that carnival? After Madame Scheister put that curse on him! Hmm, interesting, but I don't see any connection. I do! Her curse is turning the Chief into a bloated lard bucket! We'd better get the Chief over to Hamster State Penitentiary before he explodes! Yeah! We can grab some hoagies on the way! Uh, yeah. uh, 88 pieces with cheese on the wall! 88 pieces with cheese! At this rate, down. we'll never get him to Madame Scheister! Come on, on Flesh! Put your back into it! Okie dokie! Blimey! He's headed right toward the prison! You will soon meet a mysterious, handsome stranger who will flatter you. Or does that say flatten? Good work, Chief. Now where's that fortune teller? Oh, bad news, Chief. Huh? I guess she had a short lifeline. You imbeciles! She was the only one who could remove the curse! No! I'm hungry. Will the chief come to an explosive end? Will he leave any food for the rest of us? Find out in the action engorged conclusion of Action League now. Hey, Kablamoids, keep your hiner in the recliner. Still to come.
Dave, son of Hercules. And when we return, more Action League now, right here on Kablam! Action League now. The Chief fills out. A fortune teller checks out. Why? Too much takeout. What's the prognosis, Bill? In layman's terms, he's gonna bust open like a rotten pinata. If you morons hadn't flattened that fortune teller, I'd be back to normal by now! It's Flesh's fault. He's the one who pushed you down the stairs. Nuh-uh. But you shoved him. No, you shoved him. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> Chief's All bad. right! Thank goodness. Hooray for Chiefy! Good work, people! There must be some way I can repay you guys. How about lunch? What? The end. Welcome back to the smoking rubble of what used to be Kablam! Thanks to Henry, we've blown our budget on whoop de doo special effects, and now this is the only animation we can afford. Are you happy, Henry? What are you talking about? This is cutting edge. It's a breakthrough brand of animation called Stickimation. Henry, wake up and smell the artificial flavor. We are paper cutouts glued to pieces of wood. We are paper cutouts glued to pieces of wood, saving the world from evil ninjas. <laughs> Come on, June. It's Kablamaganza time. Oh, please. Bring it on, you little Namby Pambies. I kicked your stick in Iwo Jima, and I'll kick it now. Kablam! Welcome back, Kablammers. Henry and I may have busted our budget, but you'll bust a gut watching the world premiere of Dave, Son of Hercules. No Greek coins allowed, pal. But I am Hercules! Paul! Are you okay? Hercules has failed you, son. As penance, you will pluck out my left eye. Don't get all dramatic, Dad. I know you tried to make the concert. I should have been there. Maybe it's just as well. You remember what happened when you came to my soccer game. Coach Griswold still has to eat through a straw. I have proven myself unworthy as a parent. I must consult with the gods. Oh no, not the gods. All powerful gods, I beseech you. I have failed my son. The issue of my loins. What shall I do? Uh, let me get my manager, sir. Mr. Dukakis, it's that chariot guy again. Yes, my friend. So you're having trouble with the kid, huh? 
Here's what you have to do. First, try to spend up the quality time with him. Give it a try, okay? Quality time? Of course! Thank you all seeing one. And while I'm here, let me get two super combos, double feta. You, you want the fries with that too? The gods always know. Dimitri a la Popopolis! Dad, it's Dave. <sighs> Wipe the sleep from your eyes, son. The gods have willed us to spend quality time together. It's five in the morning. Swiftly, son! I have many adventures planned for us this day. Oh, man. Someone's gonna get killed. Now we are having the quality time, eh, son? <laughs> ah, contests of cunning and guile. Go ahead, Dad. I want to try one of those rides. is a sham. You shall taste my sword. Whoosh. Hold on, son. Oh, no. Uh, suck it. Eat cold Grecian steel. Yeah. I'm sorry, son. I guess when Hercules sees a serpent, it's slay first. Ask questions later. Whatever. Just try not to kill anyone here, okay? Don't worry. From now on, nothing but quality time. Zeus, the Trojan army! Dad, no! Fear not, son. <laughs> They're no match for Hercules! Okay, Samson, on your feet. Your kid bailed you out. Son, I have failed you again. In penance, I shall pluck out my liver! That's not gonna help anything, Dad. I'm sorry, son. All I wanted was for us to drink the sweet nectar of quality time. Instead, I have brought scorn upon our heads. Actually, today was kind of fun. It was? Yeah. I mean, you really showed those Trojans. And that serpent? Ha! You took them down big time. You know, this will all probably be really good training for me when I'm a demigod someday. My heart is full. More quality time! Let us go out and slaughter a cow! Uh, Dad, I have a better idea. Good throwing, Dimitri Alapa. I mean, Dave. Now let Hercules give it a try. Nice one, Dad. <laughs> now this is quality time, eh, son? Yep, and you see, nobody has to get hurt. These games are giving me an appetite. How about a super combo? Double feta? <laughs> a chip off the old block. <laughs> we 
we're back. But just barely. Wow, it feels good not to have a popsicle stick back there anymore. Hiawatha! What's wrong, Henry? We promised our audience a kablamaganza, and this is what they get? Sorry, folks. If you want to change to another channel, let me give you a hand. Wait just uno secundo there, Henry. Maybe we've been going about this kablamaganza thing all wrong. What do you mean? What if, instead of action, people really want interaction? Just the two of us talking to them. Like, you know, friends. Yeah! Wow! I can't believe it! I thought we were all out of money. We are, Hector. I paid for all of this out of my own pocket. It wasn't cheap, no ma'am. That's incredible! Is it because you wanted to reward us for learning a valuable lesson about what people really want from their TV? No. It's because I love choo-choo trains. Choo-choo! Oh, you gotta admit, June, that was action. Yep, a real kablamo- oh, Ganza. Well, Kablamers, we'll see you when we see ya. Join us again next time! Same Kablam time, same Kablam network!